<laughs> Hello. Welcome Hello, everybody. to our stream. We're back welcome, again. Welcome, welcome. Yep, we're all back. How's it do? With a full cast of characters, friends. We got a lot to talk about tonight. Yes, all kinds of good stuff. Especially we're going to be talking about how to start brewing. Yes, which is talk about. obviously the most important thing ever. I don't know how to brew. What? What? I'm sorry. But you've been brewing, though. You've I been know. brewing. <laughs> We've had alcohol for you. You're brewing. It didn't make you sick. But was it great? It was all right. <laughs> Hey, got you drunk, yeah, nobody though. got it sick, did. so that's fair. Yeah. As long as you get you drunk, <laughs> right? It's a dual-edged sword. I love nice. it. Well, welcome everybody. Tonight we're talking about uh, getting started in home brewing, and we figured we could probably share some stories and some advice and a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun in general on all of our journeys getting started. Kevin's about to start his journey. He just okay. doesn't know it yet. Well, yeah. he did do a wash of the distil a distilling wash. That's true. Oh, yeah. So that's he, true. He has brewed. I'm getting ready to try the uh, hops terps that you guys got. I want to see yeah. what that's about. It's going down. So we're gonna have some I'm fun interested. with that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those things are super cool. More on that later. <laughs> yeah. Lots of lots of terps, lots of fun, lots of different flavors. Should be a really good time. Yeah, I think so. Super excited for that. Absolutely. When is typical brewing season? All year, all year long. All year if you were to ask Let's go. But a lot of times that ramps up through the winter because yeah. okay. people like to hang out in the garage. But that was probably statistics from like a few years back ish or more because nowadays everything's electric. So people can brew a little more easily indoors and stuff like that. So we're not seeing a lot of brewing happening through the or an upswing in brewing through the winter yeah. you know, you. with all the electric systems. And stuff. <laughs> Electric systems make it easy, and they're really cool. Yeah, yeah Bruzilla, the, they kill it. There's Especially they, with the new Gen 4. <laughs> I wish they had those 10 years ago when we started brewing. <laughs> oh, yeah, even like the Gen 1 Bruzilla would be right? super cool to have around instead of like finding all these pots in like restaurant supply stores. <laughs> right. And it's like, oh, we got this pot. What are we going to do for a mass gen? I don't know. Let's go to Home Depot and get an igloo cooler. Oh, no. <laughs> igloo is Lowe's, right? Is igloo Lowe's? I think I mean, it's igloos same everywhere. Or same scene. Yeah, same it was well, like blue at Lowe's and orange at Home Depot. Right. I don't know. But the uh, Home Depot has a better uh, cooler because it has a dreaded top versus what Lowe's is the push-in top. Yeah. That's the old one that we started brewing on was the green one with the push-in top that I got from an irrigation supply house. Hey. Uh, I know. I got a good deal so on you it. you got to make it green, you know? Right? Hey. I know. When I was RJ's neighbor, we were get, or he was getting started brewing. I wasn't doing anything but drinking. And he was buying all the stuff. He he piecemealed this entire brew system together, and we were literally using his like fridge to gravity feed when we were sparging. And we'd have to lift his mash tun on top of the freezer, fridge, or whatever it was. It was stupid. It was fridge to a random table that you gave me hey. to the table. burner on the floor, that white tile table. Oh, that's right. That was a long that. time ago. See, that was like makes 15 years ago. I don't. Know. I didn't even remember that. But yeah, this whole conglomerate of brewing systems. We we got our <laughs> MacGyver badges on a couple of these, even building this system. Uh, I didn't know how to drill stainless. I didn't know how to cut stainless, so I just went for it. I just like shot from the hip, and yeah. one of them's all jagged. If you reach your hand in too fast, he rips up your arm. <laughs> yeah, like, you should have saw his cut from the mash tun. This like is ready to slit your wrist and like kill you. Oh yeah, it was so sharp. And I was like, Ugh, I'm not putting my hand. In Some there. of my nicer work. <laughs> I, mean, okay. I do like emo music, so that's kind of cool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even now my liquor tank sits on cinder blocks. Right. So, hey. it's, it's, hey, it doesn't have it, to be like some fancy, <laughs> but it still makes good beer. It does. Hey. We had a few gold medals come out of the garage yeah. that RJ did, so yeah, it worked out go. pretty well. Yep. That's the point is making good beer, and it doesn't really matter how you do it. But when you get started, you have a lot of questions, and you're not sure like if you're doing what, it right. Yeah. And you're always like second guessing yourself. You're like, it only fermented for three days. Is that normal? <laughs> yes, that's normal. <laughs> it's still fermenting. Don't worry. Yeah, you're in the first stages of fermentation. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to go with that. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we're so, starting a broadcast. <laughs> RJ yep. wrote these and type all these bullets Dogified. out. Dogified. So Dog it should be a good time. Doggy Dylan. Jim Heck Han, yeah. Did you read these, Dog Mike? Modeling. I did. We have a guest, was old Mike. What's up? Welcome, Mike. He has a it very nice good. system. Brother. Also a medal winner in the home brewing competition. Truth. Hey. 
and uh, yeah. he wanted to come and hang out because we all like hanging out together. Yeah. And drink it just works. And just talk homebrew because honestly, when we're not filming, that's what we're doing. So <laughs> pretty much. might as well film it. <laughs> might as well do it on yeah. camera. Yeah. yeah. Some very good ideas that have come out of this these situations. Even with Kevin, Kevin has some really good stuff too. True. His, his perspective is totally really different. You do. I yeah, you come in. It's like, but what if we were to do this with the fruit in the wash? Okay, that's funny. Yeah, when are we gonna make the smoothie beers? Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Yes. come on. <laughs> we need to make some smoothie beers. We need All right, some smoothie we... beers for Kevin. I, they're they're cool. It's cool. actually that's gonna hate me now. <laughs> I noticed it. Right, I think it's hanging I, around. Yeah. It's hanging around as long as cold IPA is right now. Yeah. Gonna... So, like, what happens if it's warm though? Is it still a cold IPA though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, but that's a good point. I, I, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> hey, we could debate this. For I, a can, while. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you what. It, yeah, <laughs> it's basically a, what an IPL, but they just yeah, it's just rebranded. It's just hey, rebranded. Well, you're it's supposed fine. to use like all Southern Hemisphere hops and a different malt bill, and uh, yeah, but it's like the cold fermented. That's why it's a cold cool from yeah. is longer, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just like, Are you kidding me right that now? ruined the pizzazz right there. Right there. Now that I know what it is, <laughs> we're gonna like, have some uh, popping. Yeah, we're gonna have some cold IPA people in here. Be like, no, that's just what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very specific style. I know. I can't see any comments. We have. You, comments I was gonna say you got chat up on yours. Somebody said you need to look at your text messages. Oh, but whatever. I don't know who it is. Oh, oh they're like personal text. Oh, oh, that's Cal. That's my boy. What's up, Cal? My real son. My little son. <laughs> He's only how old are you, Cal? I forgot. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> he didn't forget. Just kidding, it's Cal. Just, that's how it works with beer. You know, sometimes you miss some things. Sometimes <laughs> it just happens like that. I know. I'm glad you're Life here. comes at you fast, right, Josh? Cal, I hey. know, right? What's up, Cal? Hey, He's um, he's joining us from YouTube, chatting me up right now. Nice. Go. To look at his sex man. I'm looking at him. This this boy's a gamer. Let me tell looking you. at your <laughs> eyes right now, dude. <laughs> In those. We gotta check him out. He knows. He, he knows what's going on. I probably sent him an alert on this Discord. That's why he's in here because he has, he's he's pretty big in Discord. Hey, oh, let's go, buddy. <laughs> hey, speaking of Discord, we have a Discord now. It's a whole we thing. Do have Discord. Whoa! Hit us up. Blue Chatter Discord. That might, Chatter get, Discord. That might get me on Discord. I, I know, right? Oh, we man. have like you might three well. people in there, and two of them is RJ and I. <laughs> I'm oh, third. Four. Uh, yeah, Kevin's yeah, in third. There. third yeah, Tyler's in there. Tyler's in there. So and for we gotta get you in there for the older people. What is Discord? It's a it's a plat it's a basically like a communication server. So okay. you can chat, you can exchange files, you can exchange photographs, you can stream to each other. It's like AIM in twenty twenty two. Yeah. I missed that. It's like so ICQ yeah. it's like with AIM. like mega steroids. Did you guys have the people. sidekick back in the day? Nobody knows what ICQ is. No, I had the slide up. No, ICQ was not the I slide no That went right over my head. Yeah. That was like <laughs> late nineties. That was like yeah, the slide up. All right. No, Discord's a good time, for sure. Oh, yeah. Kel says he's subscribed. He wants to join our stream. No, probably not. <laughs> Kel come in with his headset. He's out gaming. Dude. It'll bring he a new audience into the mix. Yeah, right? <laughs> we got to start them young, right? Yeah. It's, like it's he, a whole thing. He's like, you know what? talking about brewing with 13-year-olds gaming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. You're too young to drink beer, but you know what? You can make beer legally. it's okay. <laughs> he's the son of one of the guys that started the stream. Yeah. <laughs> As long as you don't taste it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, you got to add the disclaimer. Yeah. You can make oh, the yeah. beer. You, you can join the Discord, it. Cal. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's brew chatter. It's a Discord. Yeah. It'd be cool to have like uh, people in the Discord like brewing, like live hey. streaming their brewing. Well, that'd so be they're super in there cool. and they're like, Tyler hey, we're did a little be... bit of that. He threw yeah. some pictures up here of his fermentations and stuff. Yep. And, yeah. And he's back in, what was it, Illinois? Yeah, Illinois. he's in Illinois yeah. now. Yeah, Illinois. Illinois. Um, I don't know. I mean, I say her die, so you know. I don't know. We, we just have piss off every time. <laughs> yes, everybody. Yeah. everybody yeah. I just piss off everyone in Illinois. I mean, it's pronounced Nevada, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, Washington, <laughs> Washington. Dude. Let's go down here. All right, should we taste well, this uh, this barley wine? Yeah. So we haven't got that far yet. Oh. Jeez. Skip so how we talk about Thanksgiving? All right. How is everybody we didn't Thanksgiving? Show off the carpet that Kevin. Oh, we gotta show. Let me go grab that. Oh, you got to oh, no. So Kevin was nice enough because he's a gangster to get a brew chatter carpet made for us. And he is awesome. a blood. We're not talking affiliations right now. Right, right. Oh, by the way, you know this cursing policy because I don't know. Oh, you should have I just this first like, episode. I was like, 
Yeah, as long as it's can not I say like, shucks? You can say shucks <laughs> all you want. Oh, oh, like, we try not to go too there heavy, is. but it's a couple. Goodness. There you go. Boom. Hey, oh, yeah. Look at this. It's nice and soft. So cool. Lush. I want to lay my face it's on that. It's almost you know? Italian. I think it's made it's out of bear. Italian. I Are think it's Italian? I think it's Chinese actually. Uh, panda bear. It's not I Italian. <laughs> I didn't see the sticker. I think it's from China. <laughs> Which Just by kidding, the way, no, panda bears awesome are harming to make yeah. this. Oh, yeah, dude. Of course. Heck yeah, man. By the way, if you try to go to the San Diego Zoo and like visit the black and white pandas, they went back to China. So don't go for that. What do you mean they went saying, back to China? So like they had a deal where like they birthed the the panda babies here in San Diego. And then they'll ship them back to China. So, like, last time I went, I was, like, excited to see the pandas. It's my favorite animal. Because I'm a panda. Because you look like a panda, bro. Exactly, dude. <laughs> exactly. Always the panda, bro. But I showed up. I walked this whole trek, sweating my ass. <laughs> Oh, and in the I got, San Diego heat. I got a to, glass got, of milk. I got, <laughs> that was a bad choice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was drinking a beer at every stop I could get a beer at. So, like, that was probably the bad decision. But, or maybe a good decision. But I got to the pandas and I was sad to find out. Some old lady let me know and I was like, full on tragedy. Why's it gotta be an old lady, not just a nice lady? Because that was literally the story. It was some old lady. <laughs> she was, she, no. I thought they were giving <laughs> birth to the pandas like Sorry, 10 George. years ago. <laughs> no. Baby birth in those. The way he remembers yeah, they've had it for 10 years. That's what, what I'm saying. What color? Yeah, they've been there for a long time. A red panda. Just I'm asking for a, a fox and a panda. Blood, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a red fox and like a panda, and that makes yeah, it. Yeah, a, yeah. a black and white panda. That's, that's how it works. Good call on the anchor man, though. Science. Yeah, right. I love the anchor man. Two points. I, th- for I would think he's got the glass of milk. Ah, <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> Remember when he punched what? back? So off? warm. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh man, that's a good movie. Right. Yeah, that carpet was awesome, dude. I want to lay my face on that, you know. If you can make one with my face on it, I'll lay my face on my face. That can be done. Next right. order, vector. Next order, let me get know. that going. Yeah, I think we can make that work. It happen. Yes. <laughs> it is a rug. Where are you guys gonna he put said. that? We're not putting it on the floor. We're probably gonna probably put it on the wall. Or That'd something. be sick. Yeah. So this is gonna be yeah. like a trophy, and we'll have like ruby pearl, or something like a thing thing. Right. Yeah. 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 your rugs over too. We gotta give a shout out. Whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever. I know. Yeah, I gave a rug to a local smoke shop. And they put it down right in front of our stuff, and people are walking on it. And it's just, it it's looks terrible. So now, I'm like, yeah. yeah, you hanging up might be a better call. They for don't sure. put like a wipe your shoes first before you shop. No, that girl, thing or... is, I can't even tell what the logo is <laughs> anymore. It's oh, like wow. all gray and black. It's you gotta have a, like a case of shoe booties when you walk in that shop. Right? right? Yeah, for real. Shoe booty up. Or they need to keep that clean. I, I don't know what they're doing over there. Yeah, something, dude. Yeah, get a rug doctor. Yeah. Rug doctor, yeah. Hey, we got a guy down the shop. You know, yeah, if yeah. you need your car to spin, let us know. <laughs> <We> <laughs> got a guy. I got a guy for that. I got a guy for that. Right now. We got something <laughs> for everybody. Tell me. <laughs> I mean, a little plug-in for me. You need a plant repair? Let me know. <laughs> Jeez. What's Discord bank? Do you have the Discord up? Are you going to pull it up? Discord up? Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> We're going to move okay. forward on the bullet. He's just going to so we'll be this, this All right. Time. Moving forward, just so everybody knows, we have signed copies of How to Brew Jeez. for sale in the shop. Signed copies? With the boy signed copies it? by the man right. himself. You want to hear my so, impression of John Palmer? Yes. <laughs> kind of. Yes. Okay. My rock Got candy? Your rock candy? <laughs> well, you know, I, uh, first of all, greetings, greetings. <laughs> Nailed it. He's totally going to unlike everything. Hey, man. <laughs> like, uh, I still have nothing like you know, first off, um, <laughs> read the water yeah, book. <laughs> Second off, I'd say, you know. <laughs> so let's see. This is the book right here. Jason. That's the book. And where's that's the signature? Not, that's not the sign. Oh, that the sign? That's, that's the not sign the sign one. one. The sign ones we keep in a safe in the back. Oh, all right. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, Did you no, read this guy's name out? out? Did you guys read this guy's name out? It's the homie. Titan Uranus. Yeah. Oh, hey, I like your name. Hey, power. You know what? I love it. When you do the squats, you know what you got to do? Astrologically. No, he, he spells it out like the planets. Oh. So it's like Titan. Like, I think that's a moon of Jupiter. And then Uranus is a whole planet know, in and of a itself. Whole planet, you know? Right. Are you <laughs> sure about that? Here, these are the, science, the water book right. and the how to brew. So he was nice enough to sign Look both of them for us. So, let's see, show him one signature, dog. Who signed these? Let's see, where's the signature at? John Palmer. Palmer. Yeah. I already did the impersonation. The man himself. Jeez. The man and the legend. Exactly. With the inspirational oh, quote see. in there, dude. Yeah. Here, let me see. They can't Brew see unto it. others as you would have them brew unto you. They can't so, see it. Uh, I'd, I'd also sorry, like to. To make a special vouch for how to brew, I mean, 
figured I started out. off as a halfway, think I got it all figured out. Sorry. You know, <laughs> beginning homebrew, really and that book really took my brewing to a totally new level. Like yeah, library. it's absolutely the Bible. <laughs> yeah, like this that's... is the end all be all. We we read this book every year, always learn something new. It's just you have to, it, especially getting started in brewing. It really helps out with a lot of process stuff, a lot of how much you want to nerd out or not stuff. It's it's really, really good stuff. And he does tons of revisions and keeps it current, which I love. Yeah, I think I think that one's 2017. Yeah. And he get, yeah, all the what revision is he up to? Is that like number five? I think it's five, five or six. Five or six. <laughs> but something insane. I, I know also with that book, it goes from brewing with pots on your stove, using bags Very, yeah. nice. and buckets. All the way up to doing three vessel stainless steel conical fermenters and brewing with fruit and doing sours and, and you know it goes from all the way at the very beginning you don't know anything about brewing all the way to like he's teaching you about equivalents and water you know and doing ph yeah. Yeah. so it's all in there bam one book mine has post-it notes all over it it looks like an old shop manual for working on a car or at this point. Or just college prepare you for your thesis. Or yeah, something. so yeah, it's like I got all my, my bookmarks for when I'm studying. Yeah, well, it's, You it's... know what? That's why your beers taste so nice and mine don't. Because uh -huh. I'm on chapter like two and I've stopped. He's hard sorry. on himself. <laughs> he's been brewing for seven years. <laughs> no, damn, dude. I actually did, like, I did mark in my book uh, one of my favorite sayings in this book. Probably the best line in here. It says, uh, the dehydrate form is most common and can be purchased from scientific supply houses at a premium price. Dude, I thought that was really that speaks to me right now, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I would definitely check this book out. I've read it cover to cover, it's amazing. The first chapter, you're pretty much our science guy, anyway. So, the first I know a lot about science, so uh, yeah. I, would, I mean, the charts in here, too. The appendices, yeah, yeah. the appendices. <laughs> oh, god, I don't Actually, know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what appendices is. Uh oh, it's like the extra chapters with like references and pictures. And I thought that was the appendix. Just I like the, the pictures. I like the pictures. <laughs> Just the appendix and how to brew, like with beer color. Like I've been, I read that whole thing back. Yeah, there's a whole SRM thing in it. Too. Yeah, there's Jeez. multiple equations. That one, the water book's good. Oh, the yeast book is super good. Like, Jason, because yeast is very important to beer as well as water. You don't say. Yes, I do say. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> yeast. So sign <laughs> copies. What? Anybody yeah. who orders a copy <laughs> online. <laughs> Um, until we run out, we'll receive a signed coffee. Oh, coffee sweet. or a copy. Coffee feet. I yeah. could, oh, I hate it. We're not sending you coffee, but super cool. So it's just one of those like cool perks. And That's awesome. Palmer was nice enough to hook us up. So we're okay. spreading the love. It's what nice. it is. Where is he located? LA. Yeah. Oh, dang. I I miss it. Home addresses. But he, he <laughs> travels all over the world. No, I need yeah. the exact right. street. He's really big in South South America. He goes down there and teaches those guys a lot of brew. Nice. So he's a consultant he's now? A well, no, I just, as a avid beer strong podcast enthusiast, I mean, he's always oh, talking gotcha, about, gotcha. oh, the, last week I was down in Peru tasting really cool <laughs> beers. Have you, ever, have you ever eaten chinchilla? <laughs> 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 yes. No, I haven't. <laughs> I should text Palmer and be like, "Are you watching this broadcast?" Yeah. We're totally about you it. should get on because we're I making fun of you right I don't now. Like we're totally talking. Are we making fun of him or honoring him? I think it's an honor. honor. If it sounds anything like him, I think it's a good. Thing. So while Josh goes get his phone so we can text Palmer, <laughs> which may or may not be a great thing. Hey. Um, tonight we're pouring Old Crustacean, Vintage 2018. Um, I one of our the camera. Yeah. Yes. Oh. One of our um, distributors hooked it up. She's had it for years, and she said, I'm not going to drink it. How's it going? Kind of rotate it around. Give her a little. Oh, yeah. yeah there, there, you go. Go. there you go. So this is a barley wine from Rogue. They've been doing this for years. Heck yeah. Um, it's really a killer beer, so I'm excited to try what it tastes like, you know, four years old. Nice. So, is this four years old? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Vintage this is 2018, almost older than my baby. dog. Almost five years old. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> We're so comparing dogs to beer. Hey, yes. So we're gonna see if it held I up. I love both. It's kind of neat. This is a ceramic <laughs> bottle too. This isn't glass or yeah. ceramic flip Thank top you, bottle. Like, yeah, it's kind of an interesting. Mm. And it's kind of a light beer. Like it's only ten point seven five percent alcohol. Oh yeah, so, it's light. Very it's light. Might as well be water. Compared right. to Happy Dad's, you know? Yeah, we'll it's see. light. I'll do a little we'll guy. See what he says. I just sent him. <laughs> awesome. I mean, it is kind of late. I mean, it might be. 
Oh, it's only wow. six twenty five. He's not no, a senior citizen. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fun. I mean, he's he's specific. Did you say it's like, six twenty five over there? He's over there getting putting Vicks on the bottom of his feet, putting his socks on right <laughs> yeah, now, getting you, ready for bed. You can't give me. You can't give me to talk anything bad about it, John. He's a. Uh, we should mention Jamil too. Be like, hey. and just just bring him into our stream, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to get them in here. Mm-hmm. I'd have to send them in. That's cool, yeah, too. Just, here we go. Like, uh, They're both like, super good dudes. <laughs> like, yeah, like, no. and I can only say good things because I started out man. actually going to the so, Brew Strong event here at Brew Chatter last January. Nice yeah, we had Jamil chocolate. and John Palmer Joe here at Brew Chatter. Uh, sitting right there. Yeah, sitting right there. What are you talking? We're talking. I'm sorry. We can have six conversations going. Whoa. Think of the I asked. I know this question. is only our third. It's my fault, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a Brew Strong podcast happen here at the store. Heck yeah! And both of them were here. Palmer and Jamil Zanishaf were both here, talking their knowledge and sharing with our homebrewing community inside of Reno Sparks and the surrounding area. Where could I read? Yeah, cool. And that's where Mike got his little spark and like it kicked him a little. It more. sent me down the rat. I took the blue pill or whatever, or red pill. The red pill. See how far the rabbit hole goes, blue man. Because I started listening to that <laughs> oh, podcast. No. He was like, Whoop. I, I, I actually bought both of their books that day. I bought How to Brew. I bought the yeast book. I started listening to the podcast or reading the books that month. And I just got hooked. I mean, yeah. that podcast and those books, and then you're making beer that you'd rather drink than go to the store and buy. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, I swear. Yeah, you make good beer. Not, no, I'm awesome. not just, I'm saying anybody could do it. I think with those books. You know what? You make great beer. <sighs> I wish I knew how to read, man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> you know what? We got a workshop for that at Boo Chatter, too. <laughs> Let's right? go. I'll we take got it. you. I've got all over those books. We'll teach you the English alphabet. With how to brew, though. <laughs> He's going to learn how to read how to brew. Yeah, that's your, it. your first words are beer. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Thank you all for joining us. Cheers. Thank you all for joining oh, we're too us. Far, Cheers. But clinks. Clink, clink, clink. Clink the clinks. camera. Clinks. 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 A little bit old crustacean. Mm. Crusty crab over here, dude. Was that like a 2018 vintage? Yeah. It's <laughs> nice, yep. dude. I mean, it is really. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, oh. it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So definitely on like kind of the the bitter half of a barley wine. This is American barley wine, of course. Yeah, if it's from Rogue. It's yeah, and so it's got a lot more bitterness. And man, more- it's it's nice and light though. Okay. It should be like big yeah. malt, big hop. Mm-hmm. But it finishes pretty clean. What's the alcohol on it? Like Ten, 10 something, seven five. Ridiculous. Oh, that's not that bad. So, I mean, we practice a lot. Yeah. What's the smells you guys are getting from this? So I'm trying to think. I smell tobacco. Tobacco. Well, that's just because huh? I smoked before. Kind of... I'm sorry. <laughs> raisin. Raisin. raisin huh? Don't tell I me thought, like a little bit of chocolate, salad, but maybe no chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. Get you kicked off don't talk shit about my potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, your potato. no, I don't even make potato salad. Who Wait, does why, that? Where would he come? Why would he say that? Bro? I don't know, because I said the word raisin. <laughs> you really you know, the, no, I don't make potato uh, salad, bro. Potato uh, salad and raisins are both gross. <laughs> You I'm gonna get kicked amazing. out of here. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> Macaroni salad, though, that's where it's at. Macaroni. I mean, what do you think? What does it smell like to you, Mister Whiskey Smeller? And um, like, dude, you got a nice collection. I know it's it sort of sucks having it in the plastic cup. You smell the plastic or what? Yeah. You know, I mean, we got some chunkers that, floating in there too. Gassy. You know. It's like. Hey, that's the typical rogue bitch. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's that free cold for You didn't get us canceled right, over here. Go. Whatever that right. is. I got a good story about rogue. You tell it after? Yeah, right now, well, I can tell it right now. All right. We got time. No shit there was in San Francisco. <laughs> and I just got out of the Giants game. It was a day game. Nice. So I was already pretty turned. Because, you know, something about sports and drinking. I just always like. Synonymous, dude, yeah, like this. Go. So, anyways, we end up at the Rogue Tap Room in San Francisco. This was ten years ago, five years, ten years ago, something like that. And I get, I was trying story. all their weird stuff. And this is like before <laughs> I was. This is before right. I was like a craft, crafty or craft brewer. And I was like, I ended up. I remember walking out of there because like my my friends grabbed me and made me leave. And I was like <laughs> yelling, "Rogue beer sucks!" <laughs> As I walked out the door. <laughs> nice, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nice. No, hey, I mean, they should know though. This he was is. a long time ago. Oh shit! Not the not the really guy is actually watching it. He was the bar. He's like, I remember that. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit! <laughs> right? <laughs> you gotta have the respectful, you know, like respectfully. Respectful. You suck. Yeah, yeah, that was, and I will say, like, 
full disclosure, I mean, that was, I think I was too drunk to taste anything at that point. So <laughs> yeah. that is no reflection of the quality of Rogue beer. I'm just, that was a story. <laughs> that I always, ha- every time I see Rogue, I think, God, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> what is that Will Ferrell quote? I am too drunk to taste this chicken, dude. <laughs> and no, that was the late great Colonel <laughs> Sanders. <laughs> oh, yes. Who <laughs> said, great Colonel Sanders. I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, man. Man's a sage. KFC. Uh, all right. Should we race right along then? All right. Let's get to our uh, why we're here. All right. George, how'd you get started brewing? What made you want to brew? Uh, it was honestly, I was one of those COVID babies, you know? Like, I was stuck Oof. at home, and I was like, what am I going to do besides, like, looking at my wife all night, you know? All right. I'll try to make some beer. <laughs> or both. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. After <laughs> I drank more beer, I was like, all right. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> So in, a loving way. in a loving way. In a loving way. Put yeah. the shovel down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway. But yeah, no, it was, uh, I was just stuck at home and I was like, uh, I, before that, like what my first COVID hobby was, uh, I got into smoking meats. So like, oh, I, yep. yeah. So like I, I started with a barrel smoker cause I wanted to go with Charlie. We're segueing like an MF or a barrel smoker started that. And then I like advanced and I got my smoking meats. Great. And I was like, all right, what else can I do at home and do it for myself? Because, like, I was kind of one of those paranoid guys, like, is the world going to end? I want to do things for myself, you know? So I was like, if the world's going to end, I want to be able to get drunk by myself. Or no, with people. But I want to make my own stuff to get drunk. Just in case make. the beer is, like, so, or the, the store was sold out. So I got into it. Uh, I stopped by a local shop, and I didn't feel it. And then I searched up another homebrew shop here, and I found you guys. And that was about it. Uh, they put me on, and I started off with a I started off with a tamale pot. And I learned the nice. hard way: don't put PBW in a tamale pot. You know, because you ruin your tamale pot. So after, apparently, aluminum doesn't like oxidizers. I didn't know that though. You know, I feel like RJ okay. should have warned me that. You know, that's a good what, what that's happens good for the oh what yeah. Don't, uh, you can PBW use a tamale pot. It aluminum just gets and away. They, uh, alkaline oxidize. Yeah, they oxidize the aluminum. It ruins it. My water oh, like turns like white. Yeah. The aluminum turns white. <clears throat> no, it like eats away the coating, and your oh, water shit. turns black, and you got pits everywhere. You know, that's just Man. extra alcohol, bro. What's yeah. <laughs> I did feel funny after that. I love where your head is right now. <laughs> extra <laughs> alcohol, bro. I mean, we're just trying to get a little buzz. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, Palmer has an appendix in how to brew about how to treat all your different types of I should have finished panels. the book you know <laughs> yep and he also just texts me back he says bro I'm so sorry it's dinner time right now hey. <laughs> okay you should Next be like time. what's for dinner yeah. <laughs> what's for dinner well yeah just yeah, eventually like beef. <laughs> hopefully if you're American you know I'm sorry I love chicken's fine too I guess or whatever you have <laughs> whatever it is you gotta say it like beef it's what's no. for beef. dinner yeah, I like those Arby's commercials. We got the meats. We have the meats. Oh, the meats. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, me too. <laughs> now we got a plug for Arby's out here. They need to pay us for that. They don't right? have Arby's out here? Yeah, don't say their name too loud. We need to. We need to. No, we're just saying for sure. Yeah, we're we're plugging them. We need to get paid. Hey, really dude, shout sure. out Happy Dad, sponsor us. <laughs> Yo, if Kyle wants to sponsor us, that'd be dope. <laughs> That's what I'm bro. saying, dude. <laughs> we'll do a shotgun every podcast. I'll do ten shotguns and I'll just be. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're smoking meats. Smoking meats. I got into years. the tamale pot, doing extracts, and then uh, eventually I ruined my tamale pot, which I had no tamales that year. Sad. Ugh. But uh, <laughs> tragic. <laughs> tragic. <dude. laughs> eventually, I bought one of the brewer's best uh, kettles from these guys, and I st- stuck with the extracts in the beginning. And uh, eventually, I was just like, "Well, what do I got to do to step up?" And you're like, "Dude, stop being BM and just go all grain." I was like, "All right." And then, like, I worked here, got a discount, and I bought a Brazilla, you know? Right? <laughs> Dude. And haven't looked back. Brazilla is nice and simple, super easy. I could do it in my kitchen, so but I don't got to go to the beer garage. too, right? Oh, yeah. Like, five-gallon batch, you get about 44, 12-ounce uh, bottles or whatever you want to do, you know? I mean, I don't drink enough at home. Mike has to come over. <laughs> hey. I mean, hey. you guys are invited too. I'm just I'll, I'll, I'll vouch for his beer, though, man. He, he lives around the corner from me, though. You know, yeah, that triple's nice. That was a good. That I, was a really. I good ended beer. up freaking sauced watching Blood and Blood Out. Oh, <laughs> shout out Blood and Blood Out, dude. But it was the Belgian triple that got me like, hey. all right, let's just chill. Let's this dude time. was Debo biking away on his bike and just like because I live like hundred feet away. You're biking sweet, home. Sweet, that's dude, a good I live like a, really I live like a 
around the 200 feet from his house. I'm going home. I don't know. I'm just like, you can make the walk, or you know what? Feel the wind and take that bike ride, you know? Bike ride. Gotta kind of get some scenery, you know? Dude, for sure. Fresh air and for sure. going through your hair. But that was that was basically it, you know. Got on the Brazilla. I think I've made about ten beers, and now I'm I'm, I'm bragging up, shooting up. Now it's maybe six beers on that Brazilla. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. All right, all right. Give me. Give Might me. Might have been too give drunk me. to notice the other two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, we're we're talking about those. <laughs> it's been beautiful. Uh, I've messed up a couple times with the Brazilla, like uh, that false bottom. I knocked it when I was like mashing, and I would get grain stuck in the in the pump and everything. And after uh, cleaning, just tear it apart. Super easy to tear apart. But you know what? If you're having troubles, hit me up. I'll fix it. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Listen, clients. You've hey. got a guy. You've got a guy. There. Troubleshoot yeah. straight through Instagram. Oh heck yeah! The you gotta you Instagram. gotta Venmo me real quick for that service <laughs> charge first. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, if you tell me you're from Brew Chatter, I'll hook you up. You get co- you get tech support at that point. You know? Hey, let's go. Cheers yeah. to that. So Kevin, you haven't actually brewed, brewed, but you brewed with us. Okay. Yep. Well, you did. You, so you did that wash. Yep. Which was killer. Yep. Did you ever taste? I it? was. I was supervising. I'd that say was probably nice. a little supervise. I got a little bit of work in there. So we concocted between the three of us the Terpene Express. So yep. Kevin wanted to use cannabis derived terps. So we figured out a good recipe to do, and the best way to add them, which turned out to mix them with vodka and put them in the keg. Yep. Tincture. <laughs> Tincture. Hey, RJ, what's a terpene? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> All right, Kevin, I can tell what's you, a terpene? All right, there we go. <laughs> I mean, it's a uh, hop or cannabinite. I mean, they're cousins. It's a derived Kissing cousins? organic molecule that right. usually imparts some sort of flavor that your tongue can proceed. Hey. And some have like uh, different effects too. Some might be uplifting, <laughs> some might be uh, you know, sedative and stuff. So depending on what terp you have. But that's where I that's where I see the brewing potential for uh, my aspect. I really am into it. I love the terps. Yeah. Uh, if I can find a way to brew and have some sort of uh, interest into it, like super interest into it, like that connects to what I do. Mm. Hey, that's great, man. I like to smoke weed, so if we can add some terps in there, that'd be dope. <laughs> Try it out. Well, the beer came out super cool because when it came out of fermentation, when we kegged it, it was like mango juice. George actually just brewed the same thing <clears throat> yeah, without, without the terps. Yeah. Oh, really? How'd that go? It's a nice mango juicy. Uh, I got to bring it to you. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys have tried. No, I don't, you weren't here that one day. How long have you had it's that sitting beer? Court? Doesn't exist. Uh, it's been about uh, two like weeks. It. Two weeks it's in the keg. Still right. looks good. Yeah. Still, tastes good. Right. still nice and clear. Uh, it's supposed to be a hazy, but it, like mine came out like I don't know if my my mash wasn't that great, but uh, it came off a little bit more like West Coast color, you know. Nice, not Juicy. as much haze. Yeah, you know, like no, no. I don't really get. I don't really care about the haze, you know. I just wanted to make a nice IP, and he told me it'll taste like mangoes, and I was like, I love mangoes. <laughs> Bro, ours, Send it. Yeah. ours tasted like mangoes. Yeah. It tasted yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, I'd say well, that two week was perfect. After the two week, it might have maybe got. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what the word would be, but it, it tasted a little, a little bit, bit different. Yeah, it, it tasted out. a little different. I don't know if it maybe. I mean, they. Uh, I don't know the word the for it, but well, it tasted different. I'll say that it did. It got a little bit more earthy. Like there's some yeah. scene going on in there, yeah. uh, but it was still a really good beer. It didn't yeah. last very long. Oh yeah, it didn't last that long. But, so I remember um, trying both before and after, and the terps. I mean, the the cannabis terps really kind of added another dimension. Oh yeah, which. It's crazy because there's tons of hop terpenes too. Like oh, you yeah. get all those. That that mango flavor is probably a monoterpene alcohol from the hop plant. So hey. it's like you're getting that expression from the hops. You throw in a little bit of some cousins. They're like, "Hey, cousin, what's up?" And then hey. you get the double flavors. So. <laughs> there was there, hey, Day Day. That's my cousin. Hey, <laughs> hey. shout out Friday. We ain't got no jobs. We ain't got shit to do. Hey, you're back there taking a shit. <laughs> Hey, George, if you Kevin wants to know why he hasn't been able to try that beer yet. You know what? I haven't seen you I'm in a while. either. So why have you not come by? I'm sitting That's right next to him. I haven't tried it. I there you go. <laughs> he lives around the corner. He hasn't and tried And I it, live you know? like 300 feet from his house. He's over there. I don't think it's real. Uh, <laughs> fake news. Fake news. It's fake news. Fake news. I, do okay. wanna, I can do that one, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you better come with the beer. Otherwise, hey, I don't believe it. I was going to bring it. it here, too. <laughs> I was, I don't know, I had to go do Dude, some Christmas shopping. You know, I didn't want to like. That'd have been perfect for the live, I'm man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I see. see I actually texted right ahead. I was like, "You want me to bring some beer?" Uh, <laughs> remember that? 
I was like, you want to bring that? I got should have brought that poblano with my boy. <laughs> uh, all right. So speaking of bringing beer, how'd you start? Hey, tell us all the dirty details, Mike. We'll see you when a boy meets a girl. Hey. Ooh, <laughs> you fall in love. Oh, snap. Uh, I got dirty. No, actually, kind of crazy, innocent, crazy, <laughs> kind of twisty turning. So uh, I want to say my infatuation with beer and beer styles started. I mean, pretty much when I got out of the military. And so I've always kind of had that, like looking for the next best beer kind of thing going on. Mm. And then actually after I got out of the military, I went to school and at UC Davis, they have the brewers program. So I took those classes and like oh, that kind sick. of, I mean, I'm sitting there in lectures with Charlie Bamforth and he's talking about beer and what it should taste like. <laughs> and it should have a beautiful foam on it as he pour it out and be brilliantly clear. Is he English or Scott? Oh yeah, or? he's super English. Okay. Sounds dope. I'm right. getting excited. And uh, yeah, not so, I was going to say, like, Sean Connery. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the only reason I, yeah, yeah. anyways, <laughs> took these classes and, you know, <clears throat> typical college kid, you know, think he got it all figured out. And then for a wedding present, my be- one of my best friends, one of my groomsmen, gave me a, a, a Pico brew. I don't remember these things. It was like the pure egg of brewing. <laughs> and so it could spit out, like, a gallon of beer. And you can actually buy pre-made, like they look like giant Keurig cups, <laughs> where it has all the grains, all the all the all the hops, everything, and you just basically run this thing, and it spits it out into this little stainless steel bucket that you can pitch your yeast and go from there. So is that already like the mash in that little baggie or the? Little Dude, it pill? had it had the grains, so uh, it was all grain. Uh, it had your uh, kettle additions, you know, all that stuff already in the little packets. It was all in this cardboard looking deal that you could yeah. just pick up and throw away which was good but it was really expensive so i started then trying to do it myself with bags in the pico brew uh, and then the, the peak the, it was and the beer was always okay you know uh, it's like a little sweet not really fermenting right i'm uh, oxidizing my ipas i don't know what the hell's going on so I like microwaving beer kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like uh, a beer tv dinner I mean, don't the, microwave your tortillas <laughs> Anyways, uh, All of it. that thing ended up breaking, and uh, the pumps died, or just wouldn't recirculate the water anymore. It. I'll give it, it's, <laughs> no. it's like a relic now because Pico Brew went out of business. Oh dang! And actually, I remember I oh. I started thinking like, what would I do? I, I really want to get into like brewing more, and I want to do ten gallons because I just you know like the metric system, move oh. the decimal point, go from one <laughs> gallon to ten gallons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ten times the size. It's ten not a big times. Deal. Just send it. And then so it was kind of crazy. I remember walking in here a couple times because I was buying my ingredients from you guys for that pickup brew. And you had one of the it was a Chapman. It's my liquor tank now. And it was on sale. So I bought my first tank or pot, whatever you want to call it. And then started getting more serious, more serious. And then I really want to say, like, went to the Brew Strong event and the books, the podcast, everything just sent me down. I mean, even Brew Chatter TV. I was like in, so I bought another ten, another fifteen gallon pot because they're both fifteen gallons. Then I bought a third fifteen gallon pot, which is the nice Brewer's Beast. That's, that's a nice pot, yeah. That's a yeah, nice. That's my kettle, sheesh. especially for the price. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like, sheesh. we saw and, all those. Hey, they're right there. Yep. You can't see them; they're out of view. But <laughs> hashtag Brew Cheddar. And uh, started getting to work and pound. You know, um, it's a hashtag. Yeah, it's I don't know how in depth you want me to go into this, but like choose. basically, <laughs> I finally got the whole thing together in May of this year. Which uh, you know, I, I actually had that peak of brew. I was brewing in 2019 before the outbreak or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, the so fake that, news, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. Finally got everything together. Actually, trying to do this thing with my mash tun. I'm still working out the kinks where I'm going. I'm not doing rims, which we'll talk about later. I'm trying to go up updraft where I'm, I'm I'm sending the water from the bottom up to try to mix the grains and get really good mixing and temperature control. And mm. it's a process. I'm still working it out. And the fact that I don't have any stainless fabrication skills either. I'm like right drilling holes in my nice brewer's best pot. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's God. fine. It might work out. You know, I just keep saying it out loud and it'll happen. <laughs> it works. It works pretty good. I mean. I got a TIG welder for you. We know people. Anyways. <laughs> so now, I'm, I mean, now I've got 
conical fermenters. I'm doing oxygenation with pure oxygen. I'm doing starters and, you know, trying to, you know, I, I can't get enough because the, the science is kind of where I, I really think I can go. Mm. And then the art is what keeps me coming back and like being yourself, developing yeah. something that I will exactly. taste or my friends will taste or whoever will taste and be like, That's I mean, nice. one of the best compliments I got was yesterday. I brought in that ESB. I let Eric try it. And he's like, I never wanted to brew this type of beer, but this makes me want to brew it. And I'm like, Damn, that's good, feels and, uh, good. Yeah. and those kind of things were like, it's like you're expressing yourself through this new medium mm -hmm. kind of thing. And so I Absolutely. think home brewing is the best thing ever in terms of like getting that. Always outlet. getting me excited over here. Yeah, God, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> getting me excited. It's like warm. Warm. Yeah. 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 Like, is it barley wine or is it the most? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I kind of went way over the top because, yes. <laughs> I mean, full disclosure, I mean, I, 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 I just, whenever I get into something, I go way too far yeah. and like overdo it. Like you should, I, you should see my Mustang and you should see anything I do. Like I kind of. So that, yeah, that's good. That's what we see in the store. You know, it's like people come in and it's like, we just want to get started. And then like we get a roll with a little few good comments and ideas. And then all of a sudden there's just like. There. Yep, and they bring yeah. in some awesome that's, stuff, you know. That's how this awesome how works. Yeah, and and the, <laughs> exactly. the last thing I'll say is, in less than a year, I've gotten to where I'd rather drink beer I make than go buy beer at the store. Like, yeah, these are the beers I exactly want to taste. Huh. They're exactly what I'm looking for. And I actually like I have a problem because they run out too fast, and I'm like, God, I guess. <laughs> it's like I grew five gallons. Yeah, when I, well, I've been doing ten gallons, and I only have. One fermenter, so it's like you know, every month I can get a new batch, but yeah. you drink too fast, huh? Well, so and I share too fast for that no, month. I'm actually share, I've yeah. been sharing a lot, so yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, get a little stingier. There's nothing better than sharing a brew with your boys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you fucking sure. brewed it, you spent a month long or however long, and then you're like, dude, let's fucking sit down and what? drink. Well, that's my language, let's just sit down and drink. That's what this whole that's thing why is we're about. Yeah. It's, it's community, it's getting people that's together, it. tasting okay. beer, having a killer hobby. Sharing, it's it's yeah. all of that, it, it's killer. Um. Real fast, I think you should know that Christy said what he's trying to say is his wife finally let him buy all the stuff. Hey, Let's shout go. out Christy. Hey, yeah. there should be a shout out there. <laughs> <laughs> a million dollars later. Well, I actually brought her to that Bruce Strong event too. She was there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah that's baby. awesome. Little baby. She's a trooper. I love shout it. Shout out, Anna. Which Jason hey. is this? That's Jason, the serial killer. Momoa? <laughs> This. Momoa, please, Momoa. The golfer, Jason. You're now Jason Momoa. Yes. The golfer. Or... <laughs> no. Um, uh, Louisiana the... homie, right? Yes, Louisiana homie. I hope you're Jason, Jason Louisiana. Good to have you. You'd know here. him if you saw him. We Good talked crawfish there here. one day. You know? Yeah, glad you joined us, man. <laughs> Christian, glad to have you. Hey. Or Christine. Christine. Oh my God. Oh, oh. My God. oh God. I'm, Christine. I gotta get out of here. Christine. Right Christine, I, I didn't see that. We got to talk about this reading thing. Oh, okay. All right, so yeah, we, I don't know how to read. He, I he forgot. Already disclosed he was literate. All right, I so, am illiterate. That right there. Kevin, American Pell Ale. American XPA. I thought it was IPA. What is XPA? What's XPA? Extra Pell Ale. First off, extra pale. You don't pronounce it pale. <laughs> oh God, they can't have us on the podcast. <laughs> We're both illiterate. We're straight right? noobs. Our next podcast is about styles. <laughs> Our Thank next you. podcast Thanks. has three people on it. What it's is not X us. XPA, this We're IPA. God. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I thought yeah, it was like yeah. like exhibit IPA, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's just a little. Oh, I'd be like, you know, oh, you know, right? oh, yeah. it was it was shout out exhibit. I heard it all the time, and I wanted to hit my right. Man, I missed hey. it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, while we're there, right? Might as right? well. I was like, I know you're doing it. I see you on MTV. <laughs> that was like 20 years ago, dude. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Bring it back. MTV Bring was way better. Those rides were still pimps. Were they? Were they? Like, I'm here. <laughs> we got a game cube in the, the back, Xbox like... and the TV's <laughs> right. in my headrest, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Josh, uh, how man. did you get started? Why am I so old right now? I don't know, dude. You look Talk majestic, though. Shut up. Like, what? That was like 40 years ago. It's like, what the hey, hey, right, right now, there's people in the chat going, dude. Now he's exaggerating. 94 <laughs> wants its, its TV show back, okay? Was it ninety four? No, it was like early, it was like two thousand. Two thousand five. Yeah, it was a little later in my time. It was a little later. They still played music videos. Oh yeah, I remember this. Exhibit did the song for what? Too fast, too furious. No, that was ludicrous. 
No, oh, no, there's an exhibit one. Is there? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no, it's Ja Rule. I always get those. Yeah, guys. Ja Rule. Yeah. Is... We going to Fire Fest or what? What the hell? Was that Ja Rule or? That was Ja Rule. Oh, that was Ja Rule. Isn't yeah. that the one where he left all the a... people stranded on yeah. that island? Yeah, yeah, we out, bro. Sounds <laughs> sick. We probably shouldn't have said that. We're going to get fucking canceled. Now. Maybe hey, ja they'll sponsor us. Hey, Fire to be Fest, fair, come we're out and sponsor us. We might as well enjoy it. Yeah, that was a pretty bad deal. The Animal Home movie. That was rough. Yeah. Definitely watch that. <laughs> Josh, tell me about tell oh, yeah. us about your homebrewing journey. That's right. My homebrewing journey started. We were a we wee lad back in Scotland. Can we get the harp? <laughs> <laughs> no, I need like effects on here. <laughs> yes. I think it started when Can I get one too? Yeah. There you go. When we were neighbors. I mean, I could pound this right now. And, like, get another one. Pound it. <laughs> no, that's too much. I was like, that's, <laughs> that's too a much lot. Now. That's a lot. If we do yeah, that one on on <laughs> Yeah, so basically when I got started homebrewing, it was an arduous homebrewing next door. Basically, I just went over there. Young kids showing ages. I did <laughs> Right? I didn't have any beer, so I'd go over to Arjay's house because he had beer, and he was brewing beer at the same time. <laughs> So I'd just be like, yeah, that's cool. And I'd just watch him destroy his garage and play Super Mario World oh, 3 man. on Super Ni- or regular Nintendo. Regular Nintendo. Awesome, oh, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was because we had the emulator to go through it. So we'd sit there and play it. We didn't actually have the console. That would have yeah. been, right, been more, a little sad now. It would have been more epic for the story. <laughs> but we had the emulator so we could still do Super Mario World 3 where you okay. do the warp worlds and stuff. Yeah. But. Fine. I was sitting there doing that, and then that's when we were, when I started brewing with him, brewing with him. Tractor beam. <laughs> I was just Your like, emotional support, right? Like, I was there, but I wasn't really doing it. You were doing the Kevin. That was me. Yeah, that was yeah, me. You exactly. were Kevin. Yeah, I, yeah like, I was like, yo, I'm here. Uh, here's the turps. Supervising. Here's the turps, bro. Here's the turps, bro. Yeah, we'll just. To be fair, different. not only did you help me clean, but when I got drunk and fell down in the mud, you pulled me out. Wait, so, like, wait, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. Was well, that a metaphor? You can't just say that. Literal. No, it was literal. <laughs> right. There was mud. You well, fell he in didn't it. have any landscaping on the side yard because he just bought a brand new house <laughs> and there was no like landscaping. So it was like these aggressive ditches <laughs> that you could bury people in. Truth. In, like, Mass grave. When, yeah, <laughs> no, so you <laughs> there, they give you like the cinder block to step on when you oh, walk out your garage. Door, and, this, and if you once you step off that, you're like five feet down below it. <laughs> so and you got this like huge, like muddy swamp. So imagine shop. two hours of cleaning brewing crap. And there. so you're just throwing it out the drinking door? the end. No, we were like oh. well, on the step because you get a little stoop. And yeah, that's where the hose was. So okay. we're like trying to clean. But there's only like this little tiny little concrete. Uh, so and then I got drunk and I fell down. And then I got stuck because it was all mud. Pull me out of the mud, dude. I, like, I need your help. I'm going to die. Yeah, but it's when we were like transferring awesome. it, and I have no idea how this was not infected, which it probably was at that time because this oh, was God. probably like 20 years ago. But like he was sitting there pulling this freaking bag out. He's like, no, we need to do this to filter it. And he like pour a little bit, clogged immediately. And we pull a little bit and like you can see all the sediment like on the bag. You pull a little more and pour a little. I'm like, there's no way this is going to come out anything drinkable. And we're like touching everything. And it's like, and it's still, went, and this is like, we're not boiling anymore. It's already chilled. <laughs> yeah. We're like trying to go in the fermenter. So that's where so the infection starts, you know? Cloth. <laughs> and I'm beer. like, that's not a thing. Like, if you think you're going to filter your beer with cheese cloth, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we learned that the hard way. It's not a thing. Like, there's other things you can do in your process to allow your wort to be a little clearer before you transfer it, you know? Was it still drinkable? It no. was, there was alcohol in it. All right. <laughs> there you go. there was yeah. definitely alcohol yeah. in it. It, it tastes was, like, Tastes like socks. We, we would start with a 48 pack of like Coors Light, fingers. and then we go to RJ's home. 48 <laughs> pack? Yeah, Holy like, shit, you guys drink that many? Wait, what? <laughs> Where the hell do you get 48 deal? packs of Coors Light? It was the big one. This is like 224 packs. I was drinking 15 years ago. Where did you get? <laughs> yeah, but like a case is like what? A, a 36. Right? It's a 36. Okay, okay. It was 236. It was 236. Yeah, I have a case. All right. Maybe two twenty four. We're all drinking. Whatever. <laughs> all right. I thought there was like some mythical creature that I had. But the seen store before. gave you a case My of water with awesome your beer, beer purchase for free. Yeah, they give me a case of water with the beer, so Dude. it made sense because it was like you're gonna get messed thing. up and you drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> when are we gonna do wizard staffs on the uh, 
on the podcast. Shut up, Donnie. <laughs> we don't do the wizard staffs out here. You're right? out of your element. <laughs> What's wizard staffs? What's a wizard staff? What's a wizard staff? That's some kind of like it's, sword fight, but with no, it's when uh, it's when you get like cheap beer, and then every time you drink a beer, you tape it underneath your beard. Oh, and so like if you have like six <laughs> beers, this? you build a wizard staff Jesus and you tape Christ. it, and then every you like see how many beers people are drinking. So it's like. That actually sounds sort of fun. No, it's right? pretty fun. It's like if you have like PBR and you drink like three or four of them, 16 ounces, you got a pretty long wizard like, staff. I you have the what do you staff. do with said staff? <laughs> Beat each other with uh, you probably lizard. staff fight or whatever. Yeah, like you probably like hang out like, 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 yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. The one I always did was. Um, Maybe it was 36. We ever played landmines? I think it's the 36. Minesweeper? No, landmines. What do you do? Or 36. Battleship? Nah, nah, no, because at Costco, they have the 36 pack. You're like, I'm like, going to Walmart. I got to check this out. Yeah, we got to find this out. I can't remember. I know they got the PBR like 100 pack. 12 Kevin says he's seen like 19, 19 cans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 19 Jeez. can wizard staffs? That's like Jeez. way up here. We're talking about. God status right there, dude. That's like every day for me. Hey, you, okay. you turn your hand too fast. You might poke someone's eye out or something. You might hit someone's eye. It's like, make that shit touch the heavens. They are you know? awesome. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can you do that with wine? It's just a little harder bottles. Oh, okay. They're a little harder. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Really share my spirit animal. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of duct tape, gorilla tape. And you then tape you the bottle it. like if you have a wine bottle, you put it upside down and you tape it, and then you put the, the yeah, top it'd be that a little way. trickier, but I think it's a little it. different, but it works out. We use some like paper towel rolls to. Too. You guys were right. inventive, dude. Back in my day, we You're had like Edward spruce? Forty Hands. You know, you show oh, up to the kickback, you get two forties tape taped up. on your hands, tape them up, and then you got a you got Edward Forty Hands. You know, that's what I'm not saying? a kickback. That's a hazing. Ah, oh, damn. No. <laughs> and then you're they like, were hazing you, bro. And then you're like, how do I? It's a long beach. I know because I was in the army and I had that a couple of times. You're like, how do I? Hey, do this. It's gonna be fun. You got your boy. You got your boy that buckles your pants. Oh no. That's how you go. All right, all right. Getting back on track. Yeah, very oh, fast. <laughs> Crazy topic. So when, when we got started, my brother-in-law brought over a bunch of crap. Uh, and like I, I had feces? <laughs> yes. Not oh, no. literally. Sorry. Feces. <laughs> a bunch of oh, no. brewing equipment. <laughs> I knew it what was, you were saying. I was, was trying to be silly. Quit helping. <laughs> so it was, <clears throat> he brought over like a pot and a burner and an extract batch that he got somewhere. And I had seen him brew with his old roommate before. If they're done. And I was like, this sucks. You guys just got hammered and trashed the house. Like, I'm pretty sure this isn't for me. And he's like, no, this is for you. Trust me. So we did a batch and it was awesome. And then. Their first batch was Prunia. <laughs> it, was, it might as well have been. So you went to so prison too. That was, <laughs> that was the batch. Mandarin oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet and low. He actually oh, used no. his toilet. Oh, no. That was the batch that I didn't know that you were supposed to leave the yeast in the fermenter. Yeah. So I kegged most of the yeast as well, and everybody oh. on the block had the massive rocket ship syndrome <laughs> all night. It was it was bad, but that's where you sit on the toilet and you okay. turn it okay. yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, you know what you, you tell them? You're welcome for the cleaning. Yeah, you know, dude, you just probiotics. Some cleansing or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you say probiotics. Yeah. Probiotics. <laughs> probiotics. Hashtag cleansing. probiotics. Pound probiotics. Tim, good off of that. <laughs> Hash brown. <laughs> Come here, I want you to try some. No, <laughs> I'm good off of that. I'm good off of that. So, oh, and that's, that that second batch was when Josh came over and started helping, and then it was all downhill from there because we were like piecing together systems and like trying to figure out how to make all grain work i think we did two or maybe three extract batches nice. and then we're like okay all grain is so much more cost effective we should do it this way and and then the fist was born and then the fist <laughs> was born we called that the fernley imperial stout because we literally did everything wrong but the water in fernley is so hard <laughs> it Everything still came out right up. and nice. it was 12 percent or 10 percent, i think uh, so know, somewhere around there. yeah we called it the fist it was good stuff <laughs> Gotta love the hard water. Hashtag Is that like some like shredder shit? <laughs> a little bit. All right. A little Master bit. Master Shredder, dude. Isn't that the fist? The way of the, is it? The way Ninja of the Turtles? fist is a. Uh, oh, see, this is no, no, this is not either. <laughs> I thought the way of the fist was freaking Shredder's like thing. Probably. Hey, if you guys know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, let us know. What is the way of the fit? That was something. TMNT. We gotta like attach this to the stout. That's it. <laughs> Can me and Kevin do a shotgun behind you guys? Should I just break this one? I could shotgun the rest I have here. 
that's a sad shotgun, dude. That is a sad shotgun. <laughs> that is a sad. I was shotgun. asking him, and I was like, "Should I just shotgun the rest of this, or like, am I gonna get in trouble?" Or? <laughs> Joe says the foot plan. The See, that's All right, freaking. So it was part of the okay, plan. Okay, wrong right. one. All right, I got the wrong appendage. Wrong clan, George. So we go. Hey, dude. Shout can out I, Oregon. Can I ask you guys your opinion on? Uh, I know we were talking about San Francisco beers. Mm-hmm. What's well, your guys' thought on, on uh, Almanac? Is that San Francisco? Yeah, I think it's San Francisco, Same right? Because I really fuck with Almanac. I Have like, you ever been I to like... their tap room? Yeah. yeah Out there sure. on the airfield or whatever? Oh, I don't know about the airfield. I, I went to the airfield. one, uh, I want to say it's close to the Giants Stadium. No, it's uh, close to, what's the street? 4th Street, maybe? I don't know. I went to Ar- Almanac. It's really good. But uh, what do you guys think about I that? Almanac's it, good. It's yeah. sours, right? Or is it primarily? Like primary. That's, that's the one thing that put them on the map. Is they're sours. That's they why. I know. They have oh, clean yeah. beer too. Yeah. Though. You know, they do a lot of clean pills, and I think they, if I remember correctly, I think they have a really good cool shoot. But like, they do clean beers as well. They got some good uh, yeah. hazy hoppy beers. And stuff. We like to, Almanac, huh? They're definitely a brewery to recognize. Yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Their sours are on point. They do really strong work. Yeah. Their their clean stuff's pretty good. I'm trying to remember all of them because it's been a while. The we sours, don't a, we don't get a lot of them in our market. Oh, really? But, yeah, Almanac Sours is like – They sell beer. out probably. Yeah, Say it with me. Almanac. Almanac. <laughs> but uh, there's like – Is that German? Like, but they're known for the sours. <laughs> is that though. some kind of – Yeah, that's why, really that's why I know them from the sours. Yeah. It's like well, bringing okay. a $20 beer, you're like, okay. The the sours or $10 fire. beer, whatever it is. I would say, too, that even the IPAs, the hazies, they Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, it's good stuff. They're a good brew. Anyways, they are a good brew, brew I across think, the board. I think so. But you know what? If you don't want to pay 20 bucks for a four-pack, learn how to brew. <laughs> Shots you fired. Know, I think that's really well said. We right? even have recipes for all of those kinds of beers. Exactly. And I would say, so here. I can brew an almanac beer. Check sorry. it out yeah. real quick. Yeah. I'm kind of like the super nerd about tracking costs and tracking ingredients. and tra- I'm trying to. You know, you I took that whole thing. I got spreadsheets. Spread Your four sheet. pack is actually yeah. forty dollars. So no, I've yeah. actually yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. It's almost like an engineer. I know, right? If you add in your time. <laughs> but I was gonna say, I've actually done it out and like homebrew. Even if you pay the rental fee at Brew Chatter to can your beer and you buy the cans and you can Hashtag it, Brew it's Chatter. a service we offer. I mean, you're at like with a hazy beer that you would be paying twenty twenty five dollars a four pack. Yeah, you're at like ten dollars. I mean, it's like half price. I'll tell you though, drinking a beer that you made is way more t- better experience than you get buying that beer. You know? it's, it's like right? it's like wow. Duration. Like and I've only brewed one or two times, so. I don't know much, but I'm like, damn, drinking my own beer is like. Not one or was two. it two? Yeah, yeah, it was two. two. What well, was yeah. two? I did the. the turp beer. What's up? Turp the turp beer, and then one more. One the, more. Your uh, wash. Yeah. Did he actually distill it? Oh, I did no, do a wash, I but I had his dad distill it. Yeah. distill it. Yeah, your pops. I never tasted it. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, I got it in mason jar. I didn't drink it. Allegedly. Allegedly. I would like to say allegedly about the IPA. Wait. Oh. Oh no. Oh no! Ah, I should have brought it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Kevin said, "Perfectly said." George. Hey, Kevin, I forgot to dry. Oh, I forgot to drop the hops tonight. <laughs> I forgot what so I said. <laughs> I hope one day more. Won't I'm not sure what it is in reference to. But Kevin, what I say? <laughs> what I say? Uh, I think Kevin. it was for that one thing where uh, RJ was like, "Yo, you said that perfect." What was it? Oh yeah, you don't want to pay twenty bucks for yeah, like, well, I think that, it was that, that gratification of yeah. drinking your I own. I think that's oh, what yeah. he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that too. Like, and then know. getting involved with the beer community and, yeah. and friends who brew yeah. and everybody wants to share beer. That's the yeah. best it's, part of it. Yeah. That's that's what this whole thing is. Freaking that's what it's all idea. about. It's killer. There's it's a like a nice community. tight circle. Yeah. You know, it's 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 nice like this. Well, and it's not nice. like closed either. Like somebody else comes in, they're like, "Hey, I brought a beer." You're like, "Come on in, man. Let's hang out." I was. It's. I love it. That's like probably top five things i like in life right now is like somebody brings their homebrew in i'll bring my homebrew in mm. and it's like just the community like sharing yep. talking about it what do you think what would you do different i mean that kind of stuff is like not re- i mean i don't even think you can get that where can you get that else honestly I, I, that other is like really Zero. really yeah. close to the c- cannabis community like the cannabis cannabis community is like really like hardcore and like really dedicated and they want the right stuff and it's like 
I see the brew brewing community and the cannabis community. They're different, but I see them like both the cousins, like you know? yeah, they're cousins, and they they but both yeah, yeah. love their craft. Like they want the best product. <laughs> they want the best stuff, and yeah. it's like they'll do the extra mile to do it. It might cost a little bit more, but hey, you got the quality, and it's yeah. there. It's like. When I'm when I'm getting rosin or something, I'm, I want the best stuff. I want yeah. the best top quality stuff, and I want it to be perfect and stuff. And you guys, you know, you can provide that for sure, hundred percent. Oh yeah. So that's check cool. out brewchatter.com for yeah. real. <laughs> Hashtag. For real. Come to Brew Chat. Okay. Yeah. Or come yeah. and drink a beer with me. So yeah. right? Saturdays. <laughs> Saturdays. You got like you have some homebrew you're like iffy about. You want some feedback? Come by. Saturdays are the best days. Yeah, we're That's usually the pretty boys full. And you the get, girls. Oh, yeah. You get boys lots and gals of feedback, in between lots of whatever people. you're in. Yeah. Yes. That's a good thing. We Kevin love says nice and tight. Oh, nice. hey. <laughs> tight beagle. Like a tiger. Like yeah, like toy. Very tight. They also <laughs> said cheaper to homebrew, and Mike, the dry hop should be fine. All right. Sorry about that. And Jason said time. homebrew is the best brew. The only problem is you have to wait like three weeks. So right? we're talking about uh, Jason Four weeks. Bartha, for four easy weeks. Beers, yeah, or like a dry hop beer. So, and there's a, a, a lot of different like ways to do that. We're um we're kind of getting long in the tooth oh, here. Oh, yeah. What's up? But, so. Bartels. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> So real quick, talking about like getting started, uh, as you can see from all of our like origin stories, the best place to start is to actually just start. Just start. Josh and I were talking about this earlier. Just start. Make yeah. beer. There's there's a billion different ways to do it. We are always here to help. And there's you know, like however it works in your head, just go with that. You know what right. I mean? Um, you can do. Yourself. People come out with yourself. the most. I like that. That's good. Too, That's know? good. Express yourself. That's, That's a sticker. really good one. <laughs> Fruit like, chatter. Express that? yourself. Right? Actually, I got that. Um, I was, I played rugby a long time, and my college coach would say that. Go out on the pitch and express yourself. Okay. Let's go. go. Show, show, show express yourself. No, but like it was kind of a like, go out there and be show you me and what show you me, got. Show everybody what you who you are. And what Hell you yeah, do. dude. And I would think with homebrewing, I mean, the, the, it's infinite possibilities. Yeah. And what you like and what you want to do can be what it is. You know? well, and like you said, just just start and like go, you know. And then I'm telling you, you'll get hooked. Yeah, <laughs> just start, commit. Like it's it's not a hard process, and you can literally do anything you can think of. Like oh yeah, anything you can think of. If you want beer, wine, mead, cider. Whatever it is, like Pruno. it's super easy. And the type, the <laughs> amount of friends you're gonna make too, because you're fucking feeding yeah. them drinks. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you're feeding them drinks. It's like, man, you're gonna make a lot of friends here. Well, and then those creative juices flow, right? Oh yeah, and, and then they'll tell you what's like, up. And yeah. we're doing a kumquat beer tomorrow. Yo, honestly, we, we should like, run that. No. We <laughs> should run that. That stuff pans out. <laughs> should do that. Yeah, yeah, really sounds nice. good. Let's try it. <laughs> I love That's honeydew. Honeydew, man. A honeydew beer or something might be. You can do honey Crazy. Beer. It does make a good like melon beer, you know. Uh, what's it called? The the guys who make the mango cart make a, a good melon beer. I can see that. What's yeah. that one? Um, that's uh, that's L.A. Right? That's it. Yeah, it's uh, LA. Yeah, Golden Road. Golden Road. Golden Road. Road yeah. Yep. That's it. That's They're it. They make Anaheim, a pretty good watermelon it beer. Nice. Melon Next beer. to the stadium. It's nice. Yeah. Which stadium? That's uh, the Maya. Angels. Angels Stadium. Not the Honda Center. Mm -hmm. Watching no. the Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> quack quack angel stadium off the 54 and i believe it's the 55 no Somebody's wait no so they go that way 405 and the 54 <laughs> 55 i don't know it's been a while i don't know now okay. you're just throwing numbers at me i'm throwing numbers all that come quack come quack <laughs> i want to make that my safe word hey. <laughs> I thought, Josh, it, I thought it was back. Apples. I thought your safe word was keep going. That's a long safe word. Come, that's a long safe word, bro. So that's hard. Weird. You can see the video where the dude's getting arrested. It could be misconstrued. My safe word pineapples. <laughs> pineapples. Did you want to get through all the rest of this? or? Is there a timeline on the... this thing? I thought it was like a, a timeline. Time time These guys are Not chilling. Really. Like, I like this bullet point. Why is Kev When is Kevin going to get off his ass and brew? We're talking Kevin. All right, F so, Kevin. No. so we're gonna brew here pretty soon. I think I need to come next week. We that's need to start to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's that's All pretty right. normal. All right. <laughs> All right. No, but uh, but I think uh, yeah, we need to run some brews. We need to run maybe a honeydew, a kumquat, Ooh. something crazy, something hey, that's gonna I be like different. Pasadonis. What's up? Wait, what? Pasadonis. 
a frosted donut. I've heard that uh, Macedonia. Park Lays frosted donut. donut. Lays donut. Lays donut. Lays donut. I don't like donuts. Yeah, yeah, no, like, and a red it. velvet. <laughs> okay, we can do red velvet. I mean, what about I like a weed beer? I'm already drooling. <laughs> we could do that too. Okay. We could do that too. <laughs> We've done that before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> red velvet beer might be good though. That might be a little weird, wild for the for the holidays. I think red velvet. Red would be velvet. Good. Okay, would be no. Fucking majestic and smooth. It better be smooth. What about a red peppermint beer for the Christmas Christmas time or mistletoe beer? Yeah. What's that shit called? Peppermint bark. Is it peppermint bark? <laughs> Let's <laughs> drink it. It might get us a little more drunk. You know. Poison until we die. <laughs> until we talk. Yeah, maybe some peppermint bark beer. That sounds kind of weird. I don't know. I'm kind of sticking on red velvet. Yeah, oh, red, red velvet, velvet beer. You like, think we could do that? Can you put some mint we, in that red velvet? Like a that. little mint in there. And see, this is what I'm yeah, talking about nice. about expressing yourself. You just gotta express it, man. It's just like yourself. I want this. I want to do this, and bam. Express yourself. It was NWA. I think it was NWA. Was it really? I was. I was trying to bring that up. Let me Let me Google. Let me. Oh wait, fucking! I gotta update my shit. No, but I think seasonal beer is cool. What's up? Right. That's why I just did the cover. I appreciate. Tap, you know, good looking out. It was NWA. NWA did express herself. Yeah. What that else did they do? Uh, I thought they did. That is what's great. the other song? <laughs> like, on the underground. The oh, that's that's like that's, 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 yes. And with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the name of that song. Yeah, Kevin said it. Kevin was had it NWA. down. He's like, it's yeah. NWA. He's like, other I fuck with NWA yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah NWA is good for the soul. He's got all the posters and the sign stuff. Shout out the boys. Just kidding, I don't know if he does. So should we get this really controversial? Uh, Who's your favorite porn star? Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Riley Reed, no, I just, oh, threw out a name. I just threw out a name. I'm just I'm trying not. to have some fun over here, you know? <laughs> I mean, we, got, we got some viewers. We got... <laughs> Ask the real questions. They're, trying, the, they're journalists what's over the here. Dude's they're trying name? to get some... What's the dude porn stars? No, no, no. We're That's, diving too deep. Uh, Johnny Never Sins. Uh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> He's a doctor. He's, He's a, a doctor, a... astronaut, teacher. A philosophist. I don't even know if that's, that's a word. That's not the right That's word. not even a word. Philosopher. <laughs> philosopher is someone who donates a bunch of money or yeah. something. But... No, that's a... That's a no. He oh, donates George a bunch of money. That's a philanthropist. Oh, philanthropist. Like that's right. Like a philo- yeah, if you call that is a philanthropist. Yeah. <laughs> What's a philosopher, then? We're like a uh, people that like, basically like think of that. No, they like fur. Like right. You got thoughts going on. You okay. just like you focus on them thoughts. No, it's this, this corner over here. Gravity-fed systems. What's up with that? No, I do good gravity. Talk. Okay. Gravity's good. Gravity. Why you guys talk I that? I'm gonna gravity, shock you. Actually. I think gravity. God made gravity or something like that. <laughs> Somebody did. Somebody That's, made gravity. That was Sir Isaac Elon Newton Musk? that discovered it. No, you know, I think he just came up with a theory. He acknowledged it. That was it. That know? might be right, but like <laughs> it's just a theory. Right? But you know what? He is so, a sir. So add the sir. You know what? Yeah. True story. Can I go into gravity real quick? Well, Please. Uh, so I had a physics. Tell me about black holes. Once upon a time ago, when I was in college <laughs> and they were talking about physics and all this stuff all physics is physics that and like the, the professor gets up there and he goes he's like you know what's crazy about physics is like we can describe all this stuff but when i go like this yeah Jesus Christ. nobody knows why that happens gravity right gravity. no but why does gravity happen i don't know it's i can tell it's, you it's, it's our rotational pool yeah it's our well, why, yeah. why are two objects that have mass attracted to each other nobody can understand well why is gravity you? happen like, here but not on the moon or at uh, like, different no, spots or no, does it happen on the moon it happens everywhere yeah. i feel like oh, we should lean this I'm more stupid. towards beer but right. what i'm just trying to say is <laughs> now that we go to gravity <laughs> systems oh uh, you're have you ever you're basically almost at the b red dude come on you're almost at the b red you're a magician you're using magic Right, but you're using <laughs> voodoo that's tried and true. Magic. It works the same it's like, every time. Well, okay, Harry Potter says whatever Patrona. Lava still does the same thing every time. All right, so what if we drink beer in no gravity? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, well, dude? No, you, you, you get more you drunk? Gotta, you Am I wrong? Cup, it just, I no, I mean, it, when it's no gravity, you gotta like reference. suck it. <laughs> Well, oh, I say like not wrong, no, that wasn't it dirty. Just sits in the air. Air. That's not dirty until you make it dirty, you know. Well, it sits in the air. It's like well, in this crowd, it's so, dirty like a yeah. What I would say is, I do gravity with my mashing Once and even loudering. No, I'm good. You good? And so you I vouch for it. it because that's why my oh my, my liquor God, tank sits on cinder here. blocks is so I don't have push to pump. Here. I don't have to. You're down here. Yeah valve for a pump i don't have to I'm throttle a, a pump i don't have to figure all this really pumping stuff i can just literally me. turn a valve and it flows it's just let sir isaac and newton it, it, and let and let mr newton sir sir it's not mr 
I do not respect nobility, so I'm an American. <clears throat> Anyways, Mr. Newton. Sir. <laughs> yes. Randomness. <laughs> Randomness. There's going to be a bunch so, of British people like, ah, I'm dead. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Cha. <laughs> Kevin says it's based on maths, so keep well, that in mind. Okay, why? So explain further. Yeah, Kevin. What's See how you can start math? doing the Y game when you uh, get to gravity. like, I don't know. Gravity like yeah, saw the saying, saying, yes. gravity, he's he saying does. the reason something falls is because the mass of the certain object, is, but the mass of the Earth is greater. You're talking to a guy, like I took a lot of physics. And he is the that, engineer. I just fixed the devices. Yeah. I don't and know like, nothing. The, the relationship oh, the between mass good. and the what actual the force is, is known, but why? And deep nobody can understand. Anyway. Yeah. So deep dive for sure. <laughs> Quick talk gravity systems, gravity fed systems, hey. right? So... Louder tun. This is how Josh and I used to brew uh, with the hot liquor tank on the fridge, the mash tun on the random table, and then the boil pot on the burner on the floor. It's the same way I do it. So that's so what they called down. it. A, that's why they called it a tier system, right? Right. Yeah. Because we had gravity from the very top, which was super sketchy, uh -huh. getting <laughs> ten gallons hot ass of super <laughs> boiling water up on the top of the fridge. But we made it happen. And then you just you you know you wash that fly sparge spot style all the way into the the kettle. Mm. <clears throat> so there's a lot to be said for that because you can't really mess it up. You've got the ball valves. You can keep everything like. So that's that's always a really good way to do it if you are getting into all grain. Yeah. Um, there's also like what a thousand other ways to do it. Like anything. Well, I mean, that's I the cool thing about like brewing. Anything. And we've had this talk is like, brewing is is there's. 10 plus processes to get you the same beverage. Yeah. Hmm. And I think the real cool thing also but in which terms one of is good though. What is the best? Yeah. If you brew them all well, like 40 I mean, different ways, okay. like, are they all 40 great beers? I'm going to talk like I'm John Palmer and it's um it's more about, you know, like what you want to do, you know, uh, uh, what what's your uh, budget? What what are you trying to do with how much science are you trying to get into, you know? You can kind of you know, there's a lot of things. He's probably watching. It. I know that's cool. Hey, so, all fair point. If John Palmer's watching, like, dude, he loves. I you. hate. You know what I think about every day? I hate the fact that when you asked what is John Palmer's nickname, uh, I didn't know that. What and is now his, it's like, what is his nickname, dude? The Magic Man. It's Rock Candy. Oh shit! <laughs> nice and sticky. Oh shit! They they they're like twelve year olds on that podcast. Oh, it's cusp of gosh right there, dude. Dude, but anyways, <laughs> if he is listening, like I'm your biggest fan. Like I hope you know this is all about like it's out of respect. It's like it's bigger, so cool. yeah, he right? might be. <laughs> it's out of respect. Anyways, buddy, man, like I literally, you changed my brewing life. Seriously. Let's anyways, go. I like that. I like wow. that. You made him the man he is right here. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Beer wise. He's there like, we go. Yeah, real Sergeant Ross did all that work. Yeah. He wants to visit. <laughs> so, Kevin says, what ill way? I don't know what that means. Are you saying way? I think he means, hey, what, what way is better way? to sparge, fly or bash? Oh, this is going back to our brew. Okay. <laughs> that should be a fucking fight. Uh, this is such a <laughs> he sat there and talked, oh, bitch, sparge. You get better. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you. Let, let me. Let me start and then you respond. Hey, Fight, here we go. So there is no better way to sparge. They are both great, but it depends depends on how your system is set up. They're not both great. What? What do you mean they're not both great? <laughs> depends on your system and your setup. Keep the video interesting. Oh, oh. shit. Conflict. Conflict. <laughs> always. Always. No. We're just kidding. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's the real housewives of brew chatter. Hey. Oh, no. Nice. I heard that RJ was talking shit about me. <laughs> how was your efficiency, one, you know? Dude, it's better than yours. Oh, damn. Hashtag even calculate. Oh, damn. <laughs> Do you even calculate, bro? Damn. I, I feel damn. like there's shots fired here. Those were bazookas. That, was, that's, that wasn't even a shot. That was a bazooka. Back kill right there, clear. Hashtag Sheesh. Like your efficiency. Hashtag Mortars what's your efficiency? Right no, there, hashtag do you even calculate, bro. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, that one, too. That one, too. You they're guys are awesome. savages, dude. dude. Jesus Christ. You know what, dude? He's going to. I'm gonna get dragged. I'm I screwed the, up the recipe. I didn't factor the lactose correctly. All right, you know things yeah, happen. Yeah, the, you told me the numbers came I'm off. Not perfect. Come on. But I don't calculate numbers either. So you know, I just still gonna beer, be tasty. Beer. It comes out. I taste it. It's all right. And you it's know what? Beer. Just so the listeners understand, like the lactose was was uh, being calculated as permissible. Right? That's me. My bad. Yeah. Can we not? Like, no. Lactose? Are we talking so about smoothie beers? 
We should be. We I should heard last time and I was like, oh, smoothie beers? He's all I'm in. I like I'm where that is, though. Kevin it was said, just a question. It was just a question. Yeah. I like how you do I'm it just the kidding, voice. Kevin. I know. It's just like, <laughs> you know what it is? It's a, you, you should judge the reaction on, like, how much I'm pissed off at myself about it. Like, <laughs> so, the fact so that I'm, like, freaking lactose? out is, like, I'm pissed at myself. So how do you mess up with the lactose? What was that? Lactose. So my, um, lactose. my lactose. super... My sick. super cereal <laughs> spreadsheet that I actually sent to these guys. Hopefully, they'll be making a web tool soon. A hey. took the lactose and tried to use it as a fermentable to calculate alcohol content. And I kind of designed the recipe, still considering that when I totally, I mean, I had never really brewed with sugars. So, there you go. Like, I might talk what? like I'm a big, I've never brewed with sugars. I, I'm all grain, baby. So you never, done, uh, you never done you never done a triple no, like, or anything? What I'm talking about is <laughs> <laughs> there's you know sugar, sugar, but you know what I'm saying? Like when, sugar, like when I put sugar into the fermenter, sugar. Sugar. I'm not putting yep. grain into the sugar. Booger sugar or, is fine. Grain into the <laughs> uh, you guys should get me all flip ruffled. <clears throat> flip flop. Kevin said it's gonna be a good beer. I just wanted RJ's opinion. So right. you know what? I actually talked no to my length way. about so this. Said, heck you. What does RJ need to say? My understanding is Fly sparging, I should have gone a lot slower. Yeah. And I've learned that now I need to be taking more like 45 minutes to an hour to actually fly sparge. Hour and 15. Instead of like, you were there, we fly sparged in like 20 minutes. Can you explain what a fly sparge is? Because when I hear that, I'm thinking about fishing or something. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm like, oh, so we're fishing or something. Like, just fly as sparge. majestic. Just as majestic. So after you mash, you have to wash the grain. You have to put new water in there. Okay. Because you're... The, the volume that's in there is already super saturated with sugar, right? Yeah. Okay. So with a fly sparge, a sugar. you put water slowly in the top and slowly and leak it all it. out the yeah. bottom. Like, yep. And so it in, should take an hour and 15 minutes. Yep. It, in engineering terms, it's a continuous process. Like what? as I pull water out, I'm putting water in. Yep. Okay. Where do we get this time frame though? I'm just curious. I'm asking for the first. So is it an hour and 15 or what? <laughs> it's an hour and 15. I don't remember where I got that, but that's like the magic number. Google hit that magic number for sure. 100%. Hey, John, been, I don't have my references on me, okay? You've been doing some research. I know. I know. I'll I never actually. At least that's, that's what I'm running. And that's the thing is like, I'm pretty religious on like all the how to brew, great brew strong. Yeah. And still, things do kind of slip through the cracks. And like, that's where Brew Chatter is like this infinitely awesome resource. But like, I come in and talk to them, like, what the hell's happening? And he's like, oh, you're. You're taking too too short, you know. You just let her let her ride, you know. And it's just like, let again, ride. another brew chatter plug of like these guys have helped me beyond. And then it's like the like it's if you like geeking out on stuff too, you get to geek out on this. It's just great. These and, guys are so smart. They know everything about brewing. Okay, anything. No, I'm telling you. I'm I telling. I will you. close my zipper. Now. No, I'm Jeez. telling you. I'm, I'm saying, no, these guys are smart as hell. They know exactly what they're talking about. Oh, you're about. talking about I mean, these guys? Oh, yeah. not me. I no, you probably, you probably too. No. You too. No, no you too as well. I, I actually hey. dove deep. No, you dove effort. deep into it for no, sure. I, I stand on the shoulders of Y'all know what you're talking about. I don't know shit about fuck. No, it's a community. We all learn from yeah, each other. In the words of, Oz, that was an Ozark drop. You guys seen hey, that? I like Ozarks. Good Ozark show. is so great. Good I know show. shit about good show. Ozark is great. I love it. Ozark is such a good so show. What are you watching on Netflix? I didn't watch the end. Right he Division. just spoiled no, it. You watch No, I, we couldn't do it. Me and my wife couldn't watch it, dude. It's too weird. <laughs> are you really? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, that's two years ago. Uh, uh, after <laughs> that, like, on right now. the cartel cousin or whatever, you just got all crazy. I can't be on this on Hulu. We're getting way off topic. Sorry. We're at an hour and 20. You guys want to close this down? Uh, sure. I mean, I mean if, if you, you tell me to. the uh, the best thing on the Brazilla. So what is rims and herms? Because that sounds dirty. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> I heard rims and I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, oh, all right, I know, right. I know what excited. Rim is, you know what I'm saying? Well, well home brewing is pretty dirty. <laughs> but what's the herms? Hey, hey, so what? Like her in there? No, no, no. So what is the difference? What is? What are the two? What do you want me to do it? That's I what I'm wondering. It. You can do it. I don't know what the difference. So it's Get just down. it's just different ways of heat transfer. Or, okay. Um, word movement, and so heat transfer. Rims is recirculation infusion mass system. So you're actually pulling the mash water out, heating it with like an electrical element, and mm. putting it back. Herms is 
you're using um, a coil that's submerged in hot water, mm. and so you pump in, and then you pump out the 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 mash water through that coil, and you're getting a heat transfer that way. So it's it's basically electric versus water. Gas. That's that coil but right there. You can there. do gas. Uh, no, that's, that's an immersion chiller. But either uh, what, what's going on is like instead of like so like I do rims, but I'm doing a modified rims where I'm going up instead of down. I'm using an electric heater that is submerged, and then rims is like you have a hot pot of water, and you're running your work through the coil in that hot water. To, gotcha. <clears throat> is that is that a that's fair? Crazy. Pretty close. I, I, rims is direct heat, so you're going out of the mash through a tube with a heating element to get which it up could to be. Electric, and it, gas. a lot of times people will see it like score shit, burn it, and stuff like that. Steam, yeah. And I, I don't see that, but I can also see it happening. I guess depends on your that, flow rate. So like uh, Blickman with heat. their rims rocket, they're pretty certain like three quarters of a gallon per minute. If you go lower than that, you could scorch. Fair enough. So Herms is more. You have you have those coils set in the big tub or a, a louder ton right yeah. your, your sparge tank yes of water at a certain temp and you're running the wart through that water at a certain temp and then back into the match damn so kind of the same thing the robo brew does but with an extra heating element step gotcha as opposed to just recirculating directly all right but, yeah it's good stuff both great ways to do it it's so it's not hermes no, nope. not the god of the woods. Be, be, yes. Not a thing. <laughs> and what's up? Like, uh, I can speak to propane. <laughs> speak on it. Yeah. Well. And you know what's the cool thing about the Brazilla though? What? That Out of nowhere there. though, you can buy that uh, Turbo Five Hundred. You get that conical oh. lid. You know what I'm saying? Psst, yes. Ah. I love the versatility ah. of that system. That's one of my uh, my favorite things about the Brusilla. Is, is that part of the Brusilla? Huh? Five gallon oh, yeah. just sits right on top of that yeah. MFR. It's killer. What and is this make part whiskey. right here? What's what's that's, here? That's, that's where the alcohol comes out of, or no? That's where the, uh, condensing, the water. condensing water comes out. Sweet. I wish I could uh, provide you guys with more insight or information, but I uh, I'm not that in insightful. Or Zappy. informationable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know too much about this stuff, but hey, yeah, I'm learning. That's all right. I'm glad to be here learning. I, would say Kevin, I gotta buy a bru I gotta buy a Bruzilla home. Huh? Yeah. What's the benefit of a Bruzilla over a normal brewing system? Is there a benefit? Um it, it does it for yourself brewing or, brewing or what? I mean I don't know. What's the what's the system I, I should the, get or what's this what's it's the, the best all in system? one system? It's the all in one system. Yeah. I'm a so new at brewing. I don't know what I'm doing. So what do I do? What you don't do want to have like if you don't want to deal with that whole like multi -ve like vessel system. You just want like one nice toy, toy. Like, you like, a, you know toy like a toy, toy, like a toy, toy, toy like a toy, like a toy. You just Get want it Brazil, all in there. You could do it in your kitchen. You like fuck around, make some tamales, put it on the floor, and brew your beer. You know what I'm saying? You can't make tamales oh. in the Brewzilla though. Oh, I think we could. Fuck so around. like, yeah. Wait, yeah. we could. In an what I want to say is like. So for me, I have a, a liquor tank, a mash tun, a kettle. Yep. A Brazilla is all in one. All yeah. in one. All you don't need all, all three. three of those. You so heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, I, I'm a masochist. A I like to hurt myself. System. One See, time system right here. You got a five gallon one that like takes 110 volts, or you know what? You got icy like in your garage, and you got 220 volts. You get the 10 gallon mold. I would say that's when you hit a. That's well, when you hit a RJ real quick. I think a lot of people hear about the 220 sure. and get scared oh, yeah. about it. Like, oh, oh I don't yeah. want to use 220. Right. Every so every modern dryer uses a 220 30 yep. amp circuit. And most dryers yep. are right next to the and garage right next to your. Oh, you know? and you can just throw a little extension cord and bang, you're in yeah. business. Don't, the extension don't cord doesn't get heated up or anything. We it's all, all good to go. Every house nope. in America you has run it up. Yeah. It's quiet. It's electric. Whatever you want to call it. Pump on board. Comes with a chiller. It's got all of the things. <laughs> Which I feel like it kind of like takes away from the hangs on the garage because like the old system was like everything's turning up. You know, you get heat. I mean, yeah, garage. it's back in August when it was ninety five degrees oh, yeah, in my no, garage. Yeah. Now it's like you don't want to hang in the garage. It was so much fun. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, mass kissed. I'm in the garage, August, trying Just to brew an October like fest. It's 95 yeah. degrees, and we've got a burner going. Yeah. 
<laughs> we made some good links in that beer battle. That was a good time. Oh, we got that, the barbecue we going. We put that lager on that. We we had a Ooh. cast iron on the grill. We had some links. We got it. What was that lager that we were from? The I think that was your Mexican lager. Was it my Mexican lager? It came out pretty good. I was drunk. You no, know, that thing was all right. It was like a Modelo <laughs> and a Corona. Had a oh, it's Modelo time, huh? And a Corona. Oh, had a shit. Bait. That sounds like perfect. Dude, it was that nice. sounds like just <laughs> what I want to nice. drink. Yeah. Right? <laughs> when I'm gambling, I want a Modelo that's fucking a Corona. Dude, and, like, give me that. In the chat. Yeah. No chat. Yeah, last Good. chance, friends. Any questions right. in the chat? Otherwise, we're signing off. I mean, I got like you pop got? off some BS. You know what I'm saying? You want it? I can tell you some BS questions. is probably wrong. Uh, well, no, it's BS. <laughs> so most of it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get flagged by YouTube for false information, misinformation. Damn. Right? Oh, that is a thing now. That is a thing now. That's Georgia question about blood in, blood out. He's got oh, you. I got you covered. Trivia. Miklo, shout out Miklo. You know, anybody in the chat have some cool names for some brews that you guys have done? Like. What's some like crazy names? Hey, like, what is the craziest beer question? Beer. question like, I, I want to hear some beer names. Like, what are what are you really brewing? Like, when I, when we're brewing, it's the Terpene Express or like hey. whatever the next is or like my uh, ESB is Bob's your uncle. Bob's your <laughs> uncle. Bob's That's your great. Uncle. That's so do great. we have a, a name from Kevin or uh, from yeah. anyone? What's your favorite? Uh, I beer just name? Uh, put the name of the different. Uh, Oh, you're, you're, you're making fun of that's the, Kevin. Don't sound like that. <laughs> Kevin sounds like, oh, no, never mind. That's all. Oh, like, God, terrible. Totally oh, God, you guys are terrible. If he's still watching. He's Miles like, has good he, names. He just said Mike has good names. Or Mike's, right, Mike yeah. has good I said Miles. God damn, he I can't read. Why, didn't Brad Brazil, why didn't you? <laughs> Sean Connery. We don't talk about that out loud. Do you remember the CAD drawings? <laughs> and like, I'm like trying to design a new technology. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to actually pilot more of like a professional style brewery, honey. Jeez. Anyways, this guy does CAD. Yeah, yeah I do. Can you CAD? Hey, dude. You can do it, some design. I'll show you the designs yeah. I have for my mash tun. It's yeah. Anyway, gotta make some shit. Oh mm -hmm. shit! Oh, I have a. It's a way different <laughs> thing. It's, it's, it's not a, it's brewery. A side it's, side it's, side it's, side it's way yeah. different. I mean, I got, I'm, I'm okay. We'll do names some real quick though. Molding, so I might have to talk to this guy. I got a um, an IPA that I call Mojisi Mobeta. Uh huh. Which Actually, is super hazy. It is well, juicy. It is better. better, right? There's no hazy now. Isn't that what that? And then I've got um, ours was the Hefeweizen. Horny. I call Holy Hefeweizen. Hey, okay, hey. yep. And then I've got the ESB, which is a English strong bitter. Mm. It's extra special bitter. I I don't know. Um, I call it Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Bob. Bob. <laughs> well, that's Bob's like, It's a slang term for like. There you go. There you have it. There like, you go. Oh, hey. And so, uh, was it? Uh, my new black IPA I'll be brewing next month. I'm going to uh, call. Please tell me it's what political you correct. Please tell me it's PC name yeah, on man. that one, dude. That's a good one. I'm going to do the midnight. I'm actually kind of stealing your recipe, but then I put my own little twist on it. What's your twist? I was thinking about switching to you, the uh, hops. Throw some orange in there. Right. Throw a little banana. Some co. I was thinking about doing like, banana. like some citra, some, some licorice. Licorice. Or a mosaic licorice. Oh, yeah. Those would work great. Something I push a little bit different. <clears throat> and then, but I call that one night is always darkest before the dawn. Because it's gonna be like, oh, it's so dark, and no one drink it, and then you go, oh, hello, <laughs> yeah. nice. I'm getting weird. Hey, dude. <clears throat> Apple said he got Stay the weird. the spike steam condensing lid. Said it saved about eighty percent of the boil off, but wastes gallons and gallons of water. I'm, I'm not super familiar with that. Like I, I, I am. Yeah. What's up? So Speak what you it. need to do is recirculate your water. Don't drain it. When you pump okay. it into the top to condense the water back down. Pump it back to the top. Don't don't just throw it down the drain. Mm -hmm. And so what I think their 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 design is like throw it down the drain. <laughs> but I think you need to figure mm -hmm. out a way like that 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 condensing water. You need to start recirculating. And and you know if it gets too warm and it doesn't really starts getting effective. I mean throw some ice cubes in there. But if you're worried about water use, it it reminds me a lot of a, a column still. And like you should be recirculating that water and like refrigerating it and like kind of. Keeping it kind of like we do with the loop. still, where you have a, a well and you yeah, just, yeah. Gotcha. But the the the, the spike one, I, the, I've I've actually looked into that and like the directions are like, it looks like there's one pot that's pumping to the top and then another pot that's catching the water, and so it would be like you're not in a closed loop. Yeah. So that's what I would say is like try to figure out a way to loop. to close the loop on the on the condensing side and, and loop. yeah, uh, you know. And he said, "Makes sense." Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I was kind of imagining using that too, and like, 
it'd be kind of tough to see the volume. I guess you're if that hatch little lid opens on the thing. I don't know. But yeah, the big one for me was whatever you're pumping, pump it again. Don't, don't that. just dump it down the drain. Research that. Yeah. No waste, yeah. no need to waste. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, let's keep it going. Because it's not keep it running it. So uh, like for that. distilling, we basically use a well, so we have a 30 or 50 gallon trash can with a pump in the bottom. Oh, and snap. then a bunch of like frozen water bottles, gallons sure. of ice. Yeah. yeah, gallons of water bottles, mm -hmm. and then we just pump that through, through the bottom, then out the top, oh, and okay. back into the well. And you say so 50 food gallon? for thought. Yeah, yeah. The bigger, 30 or 50. the bigger the vessel of water, the the more energy it can absorb. Yeah. Huh? So you gotta think of like. Um, Capacity, like it's like a. Battery. You guys know so much about this. You guys are smart about this for sure. I don't know about all that, but hey, you know a little, bit, a little something, something, right? <laughs> you know what, Kevin? You, you don't gotta be that beer. smart. You can still make good beer and not know all that. You know, hey, what I'm hey, I just gotta sit here and smoke. I look like no, I mean, okay. okay. Those beer. spike <laughs> lids do look pretty cool. They're, they're the smart ones. Brewing. They're the smart ones. And like, I've. I mean, I can only imagine if you're doing electric brewing and you're trying to get that big, vigorous boil, and like, let's say you got a 10 or 15 gallon pot, yeah, you're cooking off about two, you know, gallon, two gallons of water. And if you're in your kitchen, you're going to look like a sauna <laughs> in your house. Right. And so that little, like, kind of bring it over the top. I mean, and honestly, I feel like, you know what? It's good for yeah. the pores. For the hey, course. hell yeah. yeah! It's like a sauna, you know. Hey, you just get a, a sauna. Just get a good sweat. It's a sauna. <laughs> but, uh, sauna. Those are cool technology, but I would I would recommend they revise their their instructions. To Back to the new brewer, though. You don't gotta know all that. Do just we do have it. any uh, questions from the Brew. chat? Hashtag anything? 19, anything from the chat? It. I mean, we got a. Uh... Nope, that was it. William's got a uh, black IPA in the fermenter right now, so hey. let's go. I'm excited to hear Dude, how I'll that see comes you in out. Three weeks, I'll be doing mine too. Right? Let's do it. Let's go, oh, man. Dude, I love that style, by the way. I, I wish we brewed more black IPAs in this. That's country. like a love, high, love uh, hate style. So it, yeah. Well, that's any truth. They screw it up. It sucks. It's like the cold IPA. <laughs> so me and Mike had a little conversation earlier. It's like, we would, like, when we were, uh, like, when I was younger, too, like, I would like the dankiest IPA. Now it's but just like. the black IPA. Well, no, like, like we're, we're like, it's a little segue from that, but it's like. I don't want that dank dank anymore, right, though. That's a great beer. I also want the dank, The dank? Oh, I mean, the if, we're, fire, if we're smoking the herb, I'll take the dank. We want but, the dank, know, bro. We want the, the dank all day. I like the haze now. I don't know. Like, am I being a B? Am I old? No, you want to be a milkshake IPA? Huh? We'd be hitting the haze. <laughs> no, we'll take a milkshake IPA. Milkshake brings all the That's what the Terpene Express was. Is hazy, right? We like the hazies. Dude. We're down to Nice and juicy. Well... I want to say thank you guys for having me. Hey, I feel of course, like bro. Blast. Of course. Dude. Absolutely. I mean, if you guys have me back, I'll be dope. Thank but you for having me. I just want to, like, express, like, again, express this yourself. place has been better for me in my hobby. <laughs> Let's go, man. Hey, Let's awesome. go. Yeah, I'm just Love to, to help, hear man. that. It's all about community. That's what, That's what we do. It's all about, like, community, and these guys do it better than anywhere I've been. Dude. So, thank you. There you I go. got a question for you guys. All right. What's up? When are we going to brew for a live stream? Oh, when are we going to hit the brew live stream? We need to hit an next stream. We're going to brew. We're going to get it going. And then three weeks, we'll drink it up. We could do four that, weeks. actually. Does that sound good? Or is that, that, that is that too I early? Is that too early? I feel weeks? like we could do that. We, could we do should that. brew something. We should We've talk while that. we brew it. We've done that. We've done it. We let's so like, do we it have again. The same, we have the same. We have the same BS. You know, you know just like you got to bring your freaking was... gas powered tricycle that we can spin Jeez. around. And... Oh my god, you that thing one? is crazy. You dude. got one? You've never seen that? No. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even know. Bro. While, while we're brewing, like in the middle of the boil, you go like. Ah, 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 I'll put the camera ah, ah, on it and we can go do POVs of that thing, bro. My neighbors hate me, man. It's hey. awesome. I love it. They're like, hate me, and they're like, stop doing it. I'm like, bah, bah. I'm like, sorry, You're like, this guys. is America. We yeah. do this. Yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> Things goes like 40 miles an hour. Shit. No, I was riding it. As the wheels are like hopping. Like, rawr, rawr, rawr. Wait, so the wheels are spinning, but you're still going 40, or like they're gripping? And it's, you're going, no, he's straight got... up. Straight up. I'm riding this full power, and uh -huh. this guy is behind me keeping up with me. And yeah, I stop, and I'm like, was good? Was that sick? And he's like, that was 40 miles an hour, bro. You're going 40 <laughs> on a fucking piece of shit. 
go kart, and I'm like, "Did you take the?" I'm not going to tell my wife about that, bro. I'm not telling her that I was going 40 miles an hour. She knows you just now. Did. She knows now, but she ain't <laughs> watching it. But like, god damn, she's watching. Is no, she's she not watching. Or not? She don't care about me that much. Oh, but like, <laughs> same as my girl. She doesn't Hashtag care about me said. that much. But like, god damn, I was gas. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta get everybody on that. Dude, did you take the you took the pipes off the tires then? Oh, I did pipes? take the PVC pipe. So I had PVC pipes on the tires to drift, and I took that off. Okay. Woo! So that right. thing gases when you do that, bro. So when you, you get a little that, traction. It's yeah. insane. The traction is He's crazy. Like, oh my god, my neighbors are looking at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, so where yeah. did I get that? Where did people get that? Uh, we got it from a uh a state sale for like a couple hundred bucks. Damn. We got a steal. All right, this thing is like two grand. Damn. Normally, uh, a drift bag is like two grand. This thing is like we got it for like five hundred bucks. Damn. If you don't know by now, Cameron's a little limited. We got an idea. We got an idea. Stop get Guru. That's how the side. No, but here. we're gonna bring it by next next stream. We're gonna be riding it. We're gonna be crashing it. All Hashtag that. race hell praise Dell. Let's do it. Hey. Is Dell uh, someone from Fast and Furious? Oh no, geez. please! Oh my God, you made me so sad right now. Me too. Oh, Dell God. Earnhardt Senior. Oh boy. Dale. Okay, we're talking about NASCAR. We're, we're talking, talking about circles. Right right circles. Now, we're talking about circles, bro. Hey, That's just hey, crazy, crazy, dude. You know what? You think it's easy until you're taking like almost 200 miles on that. Bang. <laughs> I mean, he's used to it though. He's done it like a hundred times, right? Dude, he's the goat. <laughs> he's he's the so Terminator. He is uh, the ter All right, sorry guys. I will hey, say though, like, excuse my boy. Back to the beer. Winter time. I'm doing dark beers. I'm gonna be doing that black hey. IPA. Black eyed peas. Black IPA. And hey. then I got Mosaic <laughs> Implications, which is going to be hazy. That's another name for y'all. The Black Eyed Peas. And then I'm going to be doing a stout, which is going to be you a like that one. You like that one. That was good. If I do a Black Eyed Peas, it's going to be Black Eyed Peas. That's fire, bro. I like that one. That was good. Black Eyed Peas. Where's this stuff? Who's still sticking with us? We got 13 people with us. Like, who's here? If yeah. you're here, put something in the chat. Say what's up. We're going to say what's up to you again. Mm -hmm. Do I triple the hops amount I think we're closing as well? Soon. All right, so what's up? So I have an opinion. What's up? What was the question? I have an opinion. No, what's we're not leaving, question? Jason. Chase is like, I'm out. Oh, Late, Jason. Jason. <clears throat> so good question from Abel. Um, we brewed a triple hazy last weekend. Do I triple the hops amount as well, even though the volume is still the same? Um, I, have a, I have an opinion. You guys want to go guys. first? Go ahead. I'll go first. I mean, yes. He's got it. So, for me and the things I've read, like I said, I don't really come up with this shit. I, I stand on the shoulders of everybody else. You read the book, a couple books. Yeah. And <laughs> um, for me, no. What you want to do is be in a certain range of ounces per gallon. Okay. And you kind of got to read what you want to do, and you kind of got to depend on what kind of hops you're using. So what I would say, hovering around one ounce per gallon is going to get you a, a tasty IPA. Anything more than that, I'd say it depends on the alpha acid kind of because alpha acid content usually correlates to oil content, oh. which con which correlates to flavor. So without knowing the whole oil content, you can kind of get a ballpark. But I would say, if it's your first time brewing this, 1.0 to 1.3. Ounces of hops per gallon of beer in the fermenter is a good place to really get a super juicy, hazy IPA. <laughs> and you might even have a little bit of hop burn when it comes out of the fermenter. But as my boy Kevin Montgomery, who was on here earlier, told me, just let it chill. Okay. Give it a week. Give it two weeks. Give it three weeks of mm -hmm. just relaxing, and then that burn will go away. Yeah. So in terms of what I would think to do, that's where I'm at. Okay. I think that's good advice. <clears throat> I mean, what's your points? I don't know. You're like that's good advice, but like I feel like you points? had a. You I had heard a, a butt coming. Like, yeah, I, I heard a butt coming. I definitely heard a butt. I heard the a butt, butt, a butt coming, but no, a hey, might not have a butt. It might not have a butt. No butt. No butt. No butt. No butt. So Miley Cyrus, no butt. No. Oh my God, that's. I would say Abel, hang on and listen to these guys because, like I said. 
a lot of my no but it's the saints yeah i saw that and like what i'm trying to say is like listen to these guys though and 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 maybe even if you have questions email them directly because like i said a lot of that depends on the varietals you're using the hop schedule you're using and actually i would actually recommend don't do that all in one charge split it up so with a triple i'd probably do three charges Jeez. And like I usually do them one after the other after the other in consecutive days. So what days are you thinking though? Well, so in the new days. IPA and <laughs> actually days. from Jamil Zana's chef, he's pretty big on <laughs> let fermentation finish, uh, chill the beer, drop the yeast, then dry hop. Oh, dang. And then I do dry hop day one, day two, day three. Give it another two days. Drop the drop the hops. But that's what what's been working for me, and like it's still a work in progress. I'm always looking to get better. But what I'd say is like what I've read about new IPAs, especially hazy hoppy IPAs. You're trying to layer flavors, and so if you can split up dry, even um, whirlpool charges, I mean bittering charges, if you split them up, you develop layers, and you're trying to get these different flavors to come through differently. So. He knows what he's talking about. That's this guy is great right here. I've been playing with around with, with yes. charges. So, like, on a pale ale, I'll do a double charge because, uh-huh. you know, there's not that many hops, but I do want that same layered effect. And then with the triple or with um, IPAs, technically, oh, I'll, I'll go to babe. a triple. But if, if the alcohol content's more – actually would be more a reflection of what you should have done with the IBU. I think you need to balance the alcohol sweetness with the that bitterness, better. and you yeah. get that, that balance – that, 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 this that, guy that. seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah. He seems dude, to know what he's talking about. about. He hey, read the book. Dude. He's, he's done some research. Hey, he's done some research. Book, and like I said, dude. I stand the on books. the shoulders of the these guys and, and Jamil Zane Chef and John Palmer. And, hey, um, man, I give yourself some credit, man. Well, it mean, seems like you I know what execute. you're talking all about. All I do is sure. execute. Don't say it's just these guys. But show me what you do and I just do it. No, you should be like, all I do is that Rick Ross. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. No, but you seem to have some good insight on this. That was Rick Ross. I love it. Was no, was Rick it? Ross? No, it was DJ Carlin. I was going to say, well, that's I don't DJ know if that was more like DJ Carlin. I was going to say, I don't My think bad. I was Rick My Ross. Bad. Rick <laughs> Ross is like, where's the lemon pepper at, bro? Yeah, I just I, called you I, out I'm on 12, both. Dude. I hope you're still in the, 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 the video, Abel, and like maybe that'll help you like take that, that beer to the next level. Because I think, you know, too much of what I learned in college, which was BS. It's hilarious how bad. You took the whole program. It's hilarious you how wrong it was. Though. I mean, I was. It was wrong. It was so bad. And like really? these books are better than any college Jeez. education you Hit get. That. Yep. And as somebody who did the UC Davis <laughs> brewing program, <laughs> I can vouch. Just said. And like <laughs> these kind of steps, you these simple steps you can take, like let the fermentation <laughs> finish, chill it to fifty-eight degrees, <laughs> drop the yeast. <laughs> Dry hop three days in a row so where you split your dry hop charge. I'm not saying do I'm not saying do one ounce per gallon each time. I'm saying take your total dry hop will be one ounce and you split it up into three different dry hop charges. So I hope that also I, I realize I didn't say that at the beginning. So I hope he doesn't hit it with like an ounce a gallon each time. Jeez. <laughs> which would be I would. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna end up I mean with a beer that needs to sit for a long time to chill hey, out. It'll but, chill out though. I always say like, so like for me, like my hazy, I think I'm at like 1.3, 1.2 and like, I'll split that up over three days. So I'm doing a third ounce a gallon, a third ounce a gallon, a third ounce a gallon. Anyways, I'm getting way off track because I love talking about beer and, and beer You're process. Good. So Dude, we're here. that is the podcast. Yeah. The whole thing. <laughs> it's the whole thing. Me and Kevin just BS, you know? <laughs> and, and actually that's exactly what Jamil Zanishev sat right there and told me. He's like, I don't screw around with hot dry hops. I don't screw around with yeah. cold to hot or hot to cold. Jeez. I just let the beer finish. I drop the yeast and then I dry hop. And that's exactly what I do because the Pope told me to. Yeah. <laughs> the so you Pope. heard that. Yeah. You heard that. The Pope. I texted Jamil right Hashtag now. Yeah. The Pope. So <laughs> the Pope of beer. That's that's you know what they called the Pope. The Pope that's you know what, what he is. I mean, you guys know I what mean, brewing a beer have. means? <laughs> brew a bag. Brew, brewing a bag means you guys know what that means? Yes. What's that, brewing that, a bag? It's when you brew but in a bag. It's you a put bag? a bag on your head and Are you, you brew. Are you sure you don't like brew it in a box or something? <laughs> Like, I mean, you can probably do it. No, don't do that. Box, don't do that. We brew it in a box or a bag. It's more of a bag kind of deal. A bag? You know that one song, put it in the bag. It's mm. the same thing. 
Grew in the bed. Grew in the bed. <laughs> please, please tell me you heard the song, right? No, I don't oh, know. We'll damn play it right it's here like on the closing. The we'll play it on the closing. All right, we'll leave out. Right. We'll the lotion on its skin. Oh, oh my god, that again. is a dirty one. That, that's a what? It's fucking Hannibal Lecter over there. Please tell me you're right? closing because I'm put the song on. Yep, it's time. Is it time? All Everybody, right, thank you for joining us. We really thank appreciate it. I don't All right, any more beard. questions? Hit us up on Facebook. Email Josh or I directly. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hi, yeah, yeah. We're doing the outro right now. All right, pause. Outro, and then we'll get it. All right, All right thank right, you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you. Like I said, Cheers. if you have questions on any of this, hit up Josh or I directly, or hit us up on Facebook. Cheers. Clink, clinks. Cheers, cheers. 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 Thank, thank you guys thanks for, for stopping us. by. Clinks I don't around. know if I know what I'm talking about, but we're hey, just a good time. Get out there and express yourself. Express yourself. Express you know yourself what? through beer and come through here. And you, know you know what? what? Throw us through that. It did rhyme. Didn't I didn't mean it. for it to run, but it rhymed. So, like, if you express yourself, come through. We'll drink it up, and we'll tell you it's trash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. We'll tell you if it's good or not. I'm sorry. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. <laughs>